Boxbox Hub is an absolute essential for any Formula One fan and the entire app with new widgets, statistics, localized race schedules and countdowns, you name it. They even have support for Apple's new live activities feature with real time updates during a race right on the lock screen and honestly, some of the best looking widgets I've seen. Oh dear, we don't seem to have any video, which is great. Hang on one second. Uh, oh, there be one second. There we go. There we go. Good start indeed. Uh, we are ready here in Australia, if you hadn't guessed it already by the title. 
Uh, I think I've updated the title as well, but fingers crossed. Uh, let me put the lovely web webcam on as well. Then there we are. We are ready to get racing here in Australia, which of course is the preview for the 100% League then ahead of the Australian Grand Prix, which is coming up this weekend. So uh, stay tuned for that. Then, of course, then gold, silver and bronze will tackle this circuit a week later then, or a week in delay then to the 100% League. They're starting on Sunday for gold then, on uh, Monday for silver and on Tuesday for bronze then. And, of course, that follows the Australian Grand Prix on the Sunday. So fantastic stuff indeed. Lots of Australia coming up for you here this week then in ALR. And uh, we are ready to get going. I think I'm just about ready to get going. Fingers just cross the stream as well working then and you can hear me and you can see well the racing is more important than me but so uh, you can see something on the screen and uh, we can get ourselves cracking then um i need to get the stream up as well then uh, so bear me one second i'm very underprepared tonight as it stands so far anyway but fingers crossed i can get myself sorted for the race uh by the time of the race we are racing that is um I'm not quite sure why my stream is not loading as well then so that's fantastic as well um is it live? Yes, it is live. Good stuff. Evening from Rocket Lisa, then. Thankfully, we've got there in the end. Here comes New Zealand Cam. We'll come back to the action then very quickly because we've got New Zealand Cam going around the final couple of corners then to finish off the first lap here in qualifying of the Australian Grand Prix. 15 minutes left of the qualifying session. We, of course, have started nice and early then, which is good stuff indeed. Then 18.4 then to beat then from the Avatari driver then, who is, of course, reserving tonight in place of somebody in the Avatari who doesn't turn up any, any time. So there we go. Uh, unfortunately for him, um, I need to message Sam B. Green as well because he was waiting in the wings and ready to get going then. Uh, but uh, we are unfortunately cracking on then uh, but uh, fantastic stuff indeed then we've got a couple of res reserves tonight then then in one second we've got a couple of reserves tonight then we've got rocket leader then in the alpha tower uh, not alpha mayor sorry uh alpha tower then for new zealand cam then and for jay hings then who is uh, the second alpha tower then on track they're coming through the inter uh in, well they're coming through the chicane now in three uh but so we've got jay hings and new zealand cam then so all alpha tower reserve line up uh we've got who else have we got then we've got us uh, uh who knows come on race the fast with an 18.4 then so that's looking good for new zealand cam as well in the range then of the uh 18s as well then 18.4 then is the time to beat as the top four are all on an 18.4 as it stands uh, let's see what Jay Hing the new up to the line then it's going to be it's going to be 18.4 no it's an 18.8 an 18.8 8, which is very nice indeed then for your uh, for the gambling winners and uh, gambling uh, maestros on my headset will kind of fall off my ears uh, my head um, my head is not big enough obviously but um, it feels like it's big enough uh, there we go then here comes Martin then through the chicane as well we've got also who we've got then we've got Rocket Lizzo in the Alfa Romeo we've also got Kaz in the Alpine in place of Kai Dell uh, so that is your um your drivers, your uh, movers and shakers, then for this race. Uh, I think we've got some drivers there on the uh, medium compound tyre, you know, on the medium compound tyre, then P4, uh, which is uh, pretty promising then for the Mercedes. Then he's done an 18.4 on the medium compound. The soft compound should be faster. Uh, technically, that's mathematically uh, not what they've calculated it as, but uh, who knows if that's going to be the right time. Then in qualifying as well, then uh, Mercedes looking strong so far. Then Jenner back into the pit lane. Cooper done at 18.8 as well, then just into P5 ahead of the Alvatari of uh, of uh, Jay Hings. Equas then with an 18.5. Spoils the party then with the 18.4s then, but into P5 then with an 18.5. Good stuff indeed from the, of the Alfa Romeo driver who's dropped down to P4 in the standings as it stands. Unfortunately, missing last week um, because he was missing. So there we go. <laughs> That's why uh, Gordo here is the championship leader then in the McLaren. Then he's been uh, very strong then in, in this. Uh, oh, what the opening? Oh, well, I shouldn't say really the opening down nine rounds. It's been over half the season. We're on to the tenth round here. There's only five remaining after this one, so uh, we are at in the latter stages. We're actually two thirds of the way through the season at the end of this Grand Prix. Uh, so we have been flying through then the 100% uh, league season. Of course, it's a bit shorter than the uh, main divisions. That is, so we'll have to uh, uh, play that into our hands. And it looks like Gorda then is taking that very well into his hands and he's char charging on in the lead of the Challenger very nicely indeed into sector three we go then for the McLaren driver let's see what he can do can he get his first time on the board and what will it be is the question uh, we need to find that out of course that's what we're waiting for really isn't it in qualifying of course qualifying will set the grid then for the Grand Prix itself then into the final couple of corners yellow flag then for now from I think coming back to the pit lane then around the final corner then for Gordo let's see what the championship leader can do then up to the line it's going to be a 19.5 he stays he's the slowest of the time runners actually is Gordo then that's not good for Gordo he wants to be further up the order then of course in the uh, championship fight then but unfortunately he stays well, he's, he's gone into P12 and he stays P12 
as it stands as well. Then 11 minutes left of the session. There's still time for him to improve. Then he needs to find a second then if he wants to get into the range of the current uh, top runners in qualifying. Martin is back out on track then in the Ferrari. Let's see what the Ferrari driver can do then. Of course, he was very close to scoring some points then in the last couple of races. And evening from Vinci. Uh, I need to go through the comment section. Even from Rocket Lisa then. Uh, bonjour from Gordo. I think he was uh, busy practicing his French, unfortunately, then uh, his lap time then. But um, we'll see what he can do then in the next uh, phase of qualifying. Uh, always nice to see the handsome something. It says um, Goku, of course, Styles in the comment section. I'm not quite sure if uh, he's referring to the uh, Formula One cars. I hope he's referring to the Formula One cars anyway, not me. Uh, Rocket Lisa said evening um, something on the screen. Uh, I think there's a, there seems to be some sort of pink thing on the screen, which is blocking people's uh, uh, enjoyment of the race. Uh, agreed from Gordo and looking good as <laughs> Justify as well then. Uh, right then, well, who knows? Uh, I'm currently not wearing any top uh, bottom layer, so uh, yeah, hopefully, my, hopefully I don't sleep and uh, fall over on him but uh, there we are um, so uh, my ALR hoodie can cover everything uh, but uh, there we go good stuff indeed hello from uh, from Kaz then good luck as well then uh, give us a wave to the vintage uh, I will give you a wave there you go there's me and there's me waving and that's that done and dusted ticked off the list I hope everything's that easy in the rest of my life then as well uh, but uh, here we go then Martin then up to the line let's see what the Ferrari driver can do then I asked I've been reading out the comments whilst I've been waving about then the Ferrari has been flying around the circuit he's improved by almost three or over three tenths of a second then to stay P10 but he has got himself closer to the top 10 out to the top nine I should say as well uh, so good stuff indeed uh, Kiki of course the race winner then from last week then is back out on the circuit and a very commanding very comfortable win then in Abu Dhabi a week ago and then let's see if he can repeat the feat here in Australia as well then different uh, different circuit layout of course and a bit more of a challenging circuit I think this one is compared to the Abu Dhabi Yas Marina circuit so let's see what the Mercedes can do can the Mercedes tackle the circuit as well as it did last week then of course we saw a front row lockout then for both um, Kiki and Jinnah then in the Mercedes in qualifying unfortunately Jinnah had a few uh, problems and he did get himself onto the podium eventually uh, but uh, he did have a few problems there getting himself back for the then uh, after the uh, spins and whatever the uh, whatever issues that he had but he got himself sorted afterwards and that's of course the uh, benefit of the 100% racing league of course you can go a bit longer because the race is a bit longer as well uh, so that's uh, helped him get himself back in the fight uh, for the podium places it was a Mercedes I think it was an, either a, either a 1-3 or a 2 a 1-2 actually in uh, Abu Dhabi last week then for Mercedes so they were looking strong can they uh, like I said can they carry on this uh, this amazing form into the land of Oz that is the question uh, the land of Oz is very uh, interesting, uh, but uh, so much interesting that we've got to keep our sights on the uh, grey stuff rather than the green stuff. As Kiki has gone for a spin, then at the final corner, then and that is, he's lost his front wing, well, he lost the end plate, then, but he's got himself stays in qualifying just about which is good stuff indeed that's all you need to worry about i think at that stage kamara racer goes fastest then with an 18 where is he uh, an 18 zero then for the alpine driver looking strong here in qualifying then he is now four uh, almost half a second ahead of the next rival of vesia in p foot mp2 that is uh sick as muck off the circuit then in the chicane there's a what's this there's an alpha power then all over the back of a red bull there as well they're not quite sure what's happening with the red bull then vintage and think it was uh we won't uh, of course we can't say anything bad about vintage because he's our a star member in the comment section so we're there yeah, unfortunately in the way. but uh, no comment and uh, there we go Jay Hings then coming through into sector three maybe just giving uh, Jay Hings a nice little toe down the uh, down the main well the middle straight the back straight as we go through the penultimate corner then for Jay Hings there his second outing here in qualifying let's see what he can do in the Alpha Tower then up to the line for Jay Hings can he improve on an 18-8 then he can improve by oh, well, just under a tenth and a half then he improves to P6 as it stands as well then good stuff indeed and of course a bit of a challenge for Jay Hings in a bronze driver then although some might say a silver driver in his uh, in his uh, what is he I think he's in the Williams car in the in the bronze league uh, silver driver then in disguise uh, but looking strong in the uh, in the Alpha Tower here in qualifying Coop then coming through into sector three as well let's see what Coop in the Williams can do as he comes across sector three then of course it's uh, but like I said a bit more technical sector three as well then same as Abu Dhabi in that respect uh, as it is uh, probably the most technical sector then of the circuit then as we uh, come back to the pit lane never mind ignore me so then <laughs> it doesn't matter then R2 into uh, P10 as it stands and let's see what the uh, Haas driver can do then had a difficult race in Abu Dhabi last week but of course did get himself a podium and then his first podium in the Haas then in Saudi Arabia two weeks ago now, uh, but uh, fantastic one, uh, fantastic second place then in the uh, Saudi, Arabian, Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Let's see if he can uh, keep up that form then and forget about the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and uh, focus on the uh, high points rather than the low points and round the final corner then for the Haas. Let's see what he can do. Can he improve on a 19.088? 
And no, he can't because he's done a 22-3. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, they seem to be trying to push on a lap then. Here comes Vintage and pushing on a lap as well. Then in the Red Bull then, of course, the uh, the star member then of the comment section as Vintage can come up to the line. Then let's see what he can do then on his first run. Then a 20.3, a 20.0, sorry, for the Red Bull driver. Then, of course, the, uh, what well, I think Kiki had an issue, had an issue wasn't that, didn't he? So uh, unfortunately for Vintage, he stays P14. Now, can he improve then? Can he get himself a bit more pace then in the next lap? Then he's still got time to go back round and come back in and go back out again, uh, which is good. <laughs> Moomin is on track as well. They're moving on the uh, in the latter part of the course as well. Now in the Aston Martin, let's see what he can do as he flies through sector three now as well. Then first time on the board. Then again, there's only five minutes left of the qualifying session, so you need to start getting the lap times right here uh, or right overall I suppose you could say then as you are getting yourself into the final stages of qualifying up to the line then for the Aston Martin driver let's see what it can be it can be what is it going to be 20.7 then puts himself P15 ahead of Kiki who is of course back out on circuit as well then Cas coming around the final corner then in the Alpine let's see what he can do as well then up to the line then for the Alpine driver then it's going to be a close driver close driver close uh, lap then to vintage and moving then it's P15 then split the two of them as well into P15 good stuff in for Cas. Best year back out on circuit, but he's invalidated, invalidated his time. Here comes Jinnah, and Jinnah up into P2, then with an 18.1 then. Not close enough to Kamara Racer at this stage, but uh, Jinnah then looking strong once again in, in the Mercedes. Then Equaz then coming through into Sector 2. I think we've got Sickers Muck, but Sickers Muck is a bit further back in his lap time, so we'll come back to that. Equaz then coming through the chicane, then he's gone very wide, then in the Alfa Romeo, that's going to be very costly indeed. And unfortunately, I think that means he's, oh, the weaving, I think that means he's abandoning his time. I'm not quite sure if he's abandoning his time or not then, but uh, he I think he has decided that uh, that is that then for that run. After going very wide then at the exit of the chicane as well then. So he's going to be coming back to the pit then. I think he might have time to come back out again. We'll have to wait and see. Sickest Buck then coming through the back straight, which is now a much faster part of the circuit than it used to be uh, with the reprofiled... Um, well, removing of the reprofile uh, turn then and now flying through then straight into this oh has he got a teammate then get, trying to get himself out of the way then straight into the chicane then of turns 10 and 11 as well flying through there very nicely indeed much better than Equaz did unfortunately for Equaz I have to comment on the entry uh, but uh, I'm sure Equaz then won't mind because he will be uh, getting himself back together then into the pits and back out on track then for a final running in this qualifying session then Sickers Mark then into sector 3 let's see what the Aston Martin can do then he's currently P8 then he's invalidated going over the curbs on the exit there and unfortunately that is Indiana Dust in qualifying. I think that is Indiana Dust in qualifying for people as well, then, because I think we've run out of time here uh, for any more drivers to come out of the pit lane, potentially. Well, it seems like it's quite an empty uh, track so far, so potentially I'm wrong. Uh, Moomin is um, having a few issues trying to cut the grass out there, uh, but uh, he has got himself back to the pits as well. Then here comes Kiki. Uh, Kiki, of course, trying to improve then on 28 7. Then I think he can do that because you've seen what he can do. Then, of course, he got pole position in Abu Dhabi last week. Then an 18 0 is the target, but he's coming back to the pits as well. Then. So, unfortunately, we are done and dusted, I think, in qualifying there uh, for uh, Kiki. He might have time to get himself back out onto the circuit. Then he's still three minutes left of the session. I couldn't see because of the lovely yellow flags that were waving about. Kamara Racer is back out on the circuit, though. Let's see what Kamara can do. Can he improve on an 18-0? Can he get himself into the 17s, which will be the first driver then to do so here in this qualifying as well. Then Kamara then flying through into turns five and six. That fuel system, that was why he was going slowly, uh, but he's got himself back to the pits now anyway. So here comes uh, here comes Kamara Racer down the back straight now as well. Then flooring that uh, flooring that pedal to the uh, put to the floor, uh, probably. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anyway, down the back straight we go. Uh, that was great commentary. If you didn't uh, if you didn't tune into that one, then you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't know that the, the cars are going as fast as they can through there. Uh, but uh, now you do as Kamara almost losing the back end, then through the chicane. Then I think that might have cost him any improvement he might have been uh, might have been improving by, and I think that might cost him. His his, uh, well, this is running qualifying, and that might be his qualifying done and dusted here in the uh, in the Australian Grand Prix. Or, or Australian Grand Prix qualifying, that is. Uh, but um, hopefully, he can stick him out for, in the race for a bit longer. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is Kamara done and dusted in qualifying. He's not got time to go back out. He's not got time to get himself into the pit lane properly as well. Either, unfortunately, as he's trying to get himself through. Uh, thankfully, he has done. Uh, blimey, that was close. Uh, Gordo has invalidated his time then on his uh, first on the first corner then for the McLaren. He's down in P13, the championship leader. Then down in P13. We've seen some difficult qualifying for Gordo then in the uh, in the last well, in the whole of the season so far actually. But he's done a great job then in the races of uh, bringing that back then in his favour. Then Kamara Racer has retired in the pit and he's done and dusted in qualifying. He's not going to be starting any higher than P1. Oh wait, that is the top step. 
Uh, but uh, of course, there is still chance for Jinnah then for Vasya for New Zealand Cam for Equaz for Jay Hings then to potentially steal away that uh, pole position then from the Alpine driver. Then there could be a chance for Vintage as well then as we fly through the chicane then into sector two. Then let's see what the Red Bull driver can do. Can he improve further then on a 20.0 as we fly down towards sector three then for the final time then for Red Bull, uh, for the Red Bull then of Vintage. Hungry Styles, I think, is in the pit lane. So he's going to be the, it's going to be the final time for him as well, unfortunately. Uh, but um, let's see what a Vintage can do then. Can he improve? Can he get himself into the 19th? Can he get himself a further ahead then of Gordo, of Marvsky, of Martin potentially as well? Then let's see what he can do then up to the line. It's going to be good indeed. I think it's going to be a massive improvement indeed. Nine tenths of a second. Then P10 for Vintage. A fantastic lap time. A fantastic improvement. Almost a second then by, uh, well, almost a second improvement, I should say. Then that was fantastic stuff indeed. Then great lap time of Vintage then up into the top 10 as it stands as well. Then that is going to be very good stuff indeed if he can hold on to that as well. That depends on what the other driver can do. But uh, we will see what they can do in the next uh, few corners, I suppose. Uh, also, I should say, as we've got a lot of people then starting off a lap, then very close together, then they're all in in a bunch. It looks like then uh, trying to cross the start finish line all in the uh, all in a row as we uh, as we get ourselves across the line to start off their laps. And uh, we've got a Haas in the background. I think it's Farf is in the pit lane. Then so far calling it a day already. No time on the board for Farf, unfortunately for him. Um, well, that's just typical. Uh, there we go then, as uh, New Zealand can then has invalidated his time, but I think he's going to just finish his lap time to see what it's going to be. It's an eight, it's a 17 and 7, then that would have put him on pole position if he had uh, completed that lap validly, that is. Equaz then improves to an 18 1, then he puts himself ahead of New Zealand Cam as it stands in good stuff. And he here comes Vessia there up to the line. What can Vessia do? It's a 17 9, the first driver in the 17s, and he takes pole position away from Kamara Racer as well in the final final stretches then of qualifying. Uh, fantastic seven indeed. I think we've had a few other drivers cross the line. Marvsky stays P13. Uh, Rocket leads, uh, sorry, R2 beat then P9, then stickers him up P8, then uh, Martin P10. Good stuff from Martin. Vintage unfortunately being knocked down the order then with the uh, lap times improvement from the rest of the grid then. Gordo invalidated his time. That's Gordo done and dusting qualifying as well. Then here comes Kiki. Kiki needs to find a time quickly indeed because he's on the uh, on the back foot then as it stands in qualifying. He's going to be the last driver, I think, or one of the last drivers across the line. Here he comes up to the line then. What's it going to be? then for Kiki it's pole position then for Kiki and um, there was no fear at all then there of course Kiki then as Jay Hings improves then ahead of his teammate there was an 18-3 as well then good stuff indeed Coop crosses the line stays PA then but Kiki steals the show then the 17-5 the only two drivers got into the 17s in the end then but fantastic stuff indeed we did think Kiki was struggling out there in qualifying but he was just uh, pulling the uh, pulling the wool over our eyes as he takes pole position here in Australia then with a fantastic lap indeed and uh, it looked like he was struggling like I said out there and didn't get to the first run in very well uh, that spin at the final quarter then and of course then had struggles on the second attempt then the third attempt then was the charm and he got himself onto pole position then in style indeed as well then almost the uh, nine of oh, nine tenths no uh, four tenths there back to Bessio in pool two and uh, once again the uh, Mercedes there locking out the podium places then it's a uh, one three for Mercedes at this stage of the uh, qualifying uh good stuff new vintage then has um Got himself a, uh, got himself, put himself in the comment section one again with his gifted memberships. And thank you very much for vintage. And you are a star, uh, star stream watcher. I don't know what that. Well, I don't know what we want to call you. Star, star fan, star whatever. You tell, you tell us what you want to call it. What you want us to call you there. Here we go. Then there is Kiki on pole position. Then he takes the pole position once again. Then back to back uh, after Abu Dhabi last week as well. Vessia in P2, Jinnah in P3, Kamara P4. Then didn't get a final run in unfortunately. Aircraft P5, Jay Hings a uh, great lap time indeed. Then in P6, New Zealand Cam. Then P7, Coop P8. Then Zickers Muck P9, R2 beat in P10, Martin just outside the top ten in P11. Then Rocket Lizo P12, Vintage P13, Marvsky in P14, Gordo P15, Kaz in P16, moving in P17, unfortunately for Farf, Hungry Styles and Serious Mushroom, they didn't get themselves a time on the board, which is absolutely catastrophic, but there we go. Third time lucky for Kiki, he said in the comment section. He's good stuff indeed then. And uh, he has got himself a uh, he got himself another pole position then to, to try and hold on to, of course, as we get ourselves into the Grand Prix. Uh, I will just uh, have a lovely chat with our sponsors and Box Box Club is an absolute essential for any Formula One fan and the entire app with new widgets, statistics, localized race schedules and countdowns, you name it. They even have support for Apple's new live activities feature with real time updates during a race right on the lock screen and honestly some of the best looking widgets I've seen.
Right then, we are ready to get going then for the formation at first. Medium, medium, hard then. Medium, medium, hard, soft then for the strategies for some reason. But I think uh, some drivers then will know better than that uh, in-game strategy then. Uh, we get ourselves ready to get racing here as uh, we get ourselves through the formation lap. Then uh, Vintage is asked to be called a space cowboy or a gangster of love, uh, which is very uh, romantic indeed. Uh, but um, I'll have to go with uh, maybe both uh, space. So Vintage, the space cowboy and gangster of love is... Uh, is uh, our top uh, top screen contributor there so thank you very much for the vintage uh, so fantastic stuff indeed right then we have got a well not a very mixture of strategies then we've got a variation of strategies though through the uh, through the grid uh, four drivers then opting for something different to the medium compound tyre we have got Vess here from P2 all the way down to P9 seconds right men on the medium compound tyres then we've got uh, R2B on the softs in P10 and then we've got uh, a lot more mediums then down to Kaz in P16 moving on the softs compound tyres in P17 then, and that is uh, that is the grid then serious matchman from P20 on the hards and Kiki at the uh, top and tail then of the grid uh, on the hards as well then so uh, P1 on the hards as is P20 then everybody else on the middle in the middle is on the softs or the uh, medium compound tyres so that's very easy stuff indeed we will um, cruise our way around the formation lap then to get ourselves lined up on the grid then for the Australian Grand Prix and uh, looking forward to this one it's going to be an exciting race hopefully we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, if it's anything like the original 100% league back uh, two seasons ago I think it was now uh, it was a bit of a uh, messy one indeed but it was actually very realistic in terms of what the uh, Australian Grand Prix was like the uh, following, uh, following week weekend so um, fingers crossed we have a, not, a much better race then tonight then but we'll have to wait and see and of course uh, to be fair it's going to be a better preview then of the Australian Grand Prix than the race on Sunday itself anyway so stay tuned to this this, this is the race you want to watch rather than the one on Sunday to be fair I'm going to wake up at 4am on Sunday to watch the Australian Grand Prix just for the hell of it uh, but um I'm already wondering why. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. Uh, right then, we will get ourselves uh, lined up on the grid then and uh, get ourselves started for the Australian Grand Prix here as well then. Hopefully we get a better camera angle than this because this is not going to be very helpful for the starting lights and the starting uh, procedure. But there we go then. Uh, right. Here we are then as we get ourselves ready to get get started here in Australia then for the 100% League Season 2 Round 10 then. The five red lights coming on here in Australia then. The five red lights are out then and we're, away we go already straight away then for the Australian Grand Prix. A quick start indeed then. Uh, there we go. Better camera angle now as well. Here comes Vessia then on the attack then on Kiki round the down the inside. I should say Kiki's gone wide then and over the uh, Astro turf then as Vessia takes the lead of the Grand Prix up into P1 then for the McLaren and there's action down the background moving in just dropping down the field unfortunately back was and then switching places then into turn three and there's a Mercedes going wide there that's Kiki then on the hard compound tires he's starting to struggle I think compared to those on the mediums then a slow start then for the Mercedes on those hard compounds Files picked up a three second penalty already then only on the first lap still far uh, but uh, there we go then unfortunately the file that three second penalty we added on to his race time at the end of the Grand Prix Gordon with Marsky back on the way then in P13 and 14 as we fly through to the back straight then on to lap one of 58 of course it's a longer race that you have sorted out the strategy then on the uh, time screen then as far from Marvin could be facing there Coop and Jay Hings as well are battling away then up into P7 for Coop then New Zealand Cam and Jinnah then switching places as well then Jinnah dropping down the field then unfortunately losing three places then but keeping going and keeping it clean then in this race as we fly down towards sector three once again then into sector three we go then and I think uh, yeah RGB then get yourself past Jay Hings as well Jay Hings starting to struggle then in the race pace as Kamara Racer there's action down the field Jinnah and Kamara Racer have come together then and both of them have got wing damage as well and that's a virtual save. Is a Williams off in the background as well then? Blimey, what's going on there? An Alpine flying off in the background as well then. Goodness me, there's all sorts of action and I don't think people have realised it's a virtual safety car. Uh, we've got Jinnah back into the pit lane then. Uh, he has got himself back to the pits as well now. Good stuff. Indeed, Kamara Race was also in the pit lane as well. Then that uh, wing damage is very costly for him as well. Uh, Kaz, I think Marvsky is down the field. Marvsky got no front wing as well. There's a VSC then. Lots of cars without a front wing then. But I think there was just a combination of people just uh, spinning out and all over the place. Losing concentration then on the first lap, which is not promising then for the 58 laps to come. Uh, virtual safety. No, it's, a, it's an actual safety car. I didn't see that. It says virtual safety car on my screen. Uh, please, uh, forgive me. Um, terribly sorry about that. But um, yeah, there's an actual safety car. There is a red thing flying around the circuit then in front of Vessia. So that is a safety car. Full course caution then 
for all drivers then as uh, we have got that pit lane action already for Gino then for uh, for Sirius Mushroom and for Kamara and for Marski uh, so there we go and then we'll have a look at the tyre compounds so soft compound tyres then for uh, uh, Gino and Kamara then uh, mediums for Sirius Mushroom and hard compound tyres for Marski so uh, interesting stuff indeed then uh, like I said the full, full course caution has helped those four then catch up to the back of the queue uh, we will have uh, the first or uh, well, the second and the third lap I think behind the safety car and then we'll get restarted then so very uh, well quick start indeed then for the first lap then but unfortunately we've had a well, I like I said, it, was, it seemed to be a few people just uh, all spinning out at the same time. They're doing that same car, so uh, interesting stuff indeed. I'm sure that will be looked at after the Grand Prix, but uh, nonetheless, we've still got all 20 drivers in the Grand Prix as well, which is good stuff. Uh, but uh, just got their front wing sorted, hopefully. Crack on them for the uh, rest of the Grand Prix, hopefully, as well. But uh, there we go, then Mo big movers and shakers. Let's have a look at those as we uh, especially take the wheel. Moving Ninja has retired. Um, what's happened to Moving Ninja then? As Hungry Styles has got a five second penalty for a collision with Moving Ninja as well, then, so that is uh, fantastic stuff indeed. Um, not quite sure what is going on there, but one driver all out of the race under the safety car as well now. And um, there we go. My team's seen your earlobe then and went hard. Uh, well, you've gone to the, the mediums, I think. So, uh, so they got it wrong as well there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Airquaz then is up two places. And Newsletter Cam up three places. Same for Coop in P5. Uh, RTB has gained four places. Great stuff indeed for the hash driver. RTB then. Uh, Jay Hing's down one place. And Sigurds Buck has gained a place. Martin has gained two places. Gordo has gained five places. As Gordo has got himself up into the top ten now. Like I was saying, the championship leader then has had a bit of a difficult time in qualifying. But in the races, he keeps it clean. He keeps it consistent. And he gets the rewards. Then he's got the championship lead based on that as well. Uh, six places for Fav then as uh, three for Kaz as well three, uh, four for Styles and he's got that five second minute for the collision under the safety car um, so I'm not quite sure what happened there uh, three seconds for Serious Mushroom as well then so uh, th sorry three places uh, not three seconds for Serious Mushroom as well then uh, albeit with the front wing change as well so that is the uh, order as it stands and unfortunately, unfortunately the biggest losers are Jinnah and Kamara Racer who started in the top four I think uh, both of them but unfortunately have dropped down then with the uh, damage in, in sector three that caused the safety car here uh, we have got some tires then on the cars good stuff and we always get going then as well then good stuff indeed uh, I think we've got, you've got the five second for Styles then and then we've got uh, as normally he's left the session again I think he had an issue then uh, with his connection uh, and somehow his car retired at the same time so uh, not quite sure what was going on there but uh, nonetheless we've got the safety car coming in this lap then uh, Moomin is out of the race unfortunately then he is um, well he was actually under the safety car in his car but uh, for some reason then it uh, seems to have teleported him out and uh, now he uh, can't get himself back into the race uh, of course his car has retired as well then so um, yeah interesting stuff indeed then Marfke and Kamara Racer are moving switching places under the safety car uh, which is very odd indeed to be fair so don't do that <laughs> but there we are uh, into sector three we go then safety car is coming back in this lap then so Vess here now is going to restart the race uh, when will he restart the race is the question then the safety car is already back in the pit lane now uh, so he can go now as well then let's uh, wait and see then uh, not quite sure why he's going so slowly if the safety car is already in the pit lane then he is going now finally uh, he has woken up then and he is away he can't do that that is very illegal if you're going to be speeding up then and slowing down Moomin Ninja's rejoined again then but of course his car is still out of the race I'm um, not quite sure if uh, Vessia was um, just uh, unsighted through that corner then or if he was um, no, that was illegal but um, yeah, never mind <laughs> so uh, that was uh, there's was, there was a meme about that Farf and Rocket Lee so switching places then into turn one then Farf now ahead into P11 then trying to chase down Gordo for that final point to pair position of P10 as uh, we get ourselves back underway then here in this Grand Prix then soft compound tires for RTB that is why he's gained so many places then on the opening laps and we'll switch to back we'll switch back to the position then in a few minutes then but Vessia now all over the back of Kiki then for the race lead can those hard, I think those hard compound tires now have phased in a bit more even with that safety car that could have um, could have helped them as well and then getting the uh, getting the grading sort as Gordo's lost out two places then Gordo is struggling there as he's lost out to uh, well he's lost out three places now I think to uh, Martin to Rocket Lisa and Farf as well then outside the top ten now for Rocket uh, for Rocket for Gordo as well Jinder gets himself past Styles. then Moomin Ninja has left the session again I think Moomin Ninja needs to realise that his car is not in the race anymore unfortunately which is a big shame there but unfortunately it's not going to help rejoining and joining again then as, as Jinder then goes oh my goodness me there's contact I think between the Red Bull drivers then, not the Red Bull drivers, not the Mercedes and the Red Bull there into the chicane and uh, Jinnah then going very wide through that uh, corner then Jinnah is all over the back now of Kaz as we go into sector three then 
over the curb then as well before the Mercedes drivers. I think he's trying too hard in his gin, and then and that usually results in an accident. Uh, I can I can confirm that from uh, my racing in 100%. Uh, but uh, all those years ago, then Kiki set the fast lap races through chasing down Besser. There were two laps before behind the safety car. Um, oh, sorry, two laps until the safety car. As Favre is back in the pit lane, so Favre calling it a day on the medium compound tyres already. They're not quite sure what's happened there. Then Jinnah and Kaz have switched places. Then up into P12, then for Jinnah. Then Kaz almost off the circuit. Then what's he doing there on the uh, on the uh, grass? Then for the Alpine. Then he's let his teammate through. He's let Sirius rush him through as well. Then unfortunately for Kaz, they're unsettling the car. Then on the grass, then that is going to be very costly indeed for Kaz. He has lost out quite a few positions, but Kamara Racer is off the circuit then. Uh, he needs to get it in reverse there, sir. Uh, yes, he has done. Farf then onto the hard compound tyres, and he's back out of the pits, out of the pits now as well, and underway. Uh, Kamara Racer has um, got himself back underway as well. Then, but the and the front wing looks intact. Uh, but yeah, I think he just spun it at the exit of turn three. Then, uh, so bad news indeed for Kamara Racer. Then he was looking like he was going to get himself back in the race. Then with that safety car as well. Then, uh, but so uh, nonetheless, he has got to get got his work cut out now. Seven seconds off the pack as it stands there but there could be more safety cars we've seen quite a few around this circuit already then far because another penalty then on those hard compound tires trying to get them warmed up as well then here comes Vessia then he has been passed by Kiki I completely missed it with the all the action going on in the back of the field then Kaz and Marvsky once again there's Kaz is off the circuit again then Kamara Racer's got oh no it's Kamara Racer off the circuit then he's got a 10 second penalty then for corner cutting then Kaz has been passed by Marvsky then into P16 for the Williams car uh, Kiki's got the fastest lap of the race then Vessi, sorry, Equaz then has got the fastest lap of the race now. He's burned some ARS then to try and catch himself up into the DRS window then of the cars ahead. Then two back the two battling packed paddling paddling drivers ahead. There we go. Uh, he has got himself back in DRS range then into the pits comes Kamara Racer. Then he has got himself a uh, five second for speeding in the pit lane then for Kamara. Unfortunately for him, he's uh, really racking up racking up the penalties then as he's retired in the pit lane. So never mind. Unfortunately, that is Kamara out of the race then as Kiki is out of the race as well. Then a big smash then at turn five. And that's another safety car, just as Kamara retires in the pit lane, which is just typical, uh, which is exactly why he don't retire in the pit lane, uh, from my experience as well. Then Kiki out of the race then, from the race lead on those hard compound tyres. Three retirements already then. And that is that so far, done and dusted. Uh, Farf then is going to catch up to the safety car queue, it's going to be very helpful for Farf. <laughs> but uh, we've got three out already then on lap six. So this is getting very promising indeed. Uh, for the rest of this Grand Prix as well then so um, yeah fingers crossed then we can uh, we can have the rest of the car and race 50, 52 laps to remain at the end of this one so uh, god uh, hopefully we finish with more than 10 drivers we'll have to wait and see uh, like I did say to the drivers before we started the Grand Prix in the Discord that uh, it is an underestimated circuit then, and it's uh, very underestimated for the three drivers that have already retired in this race uh, in the first six laps then uh, but uh, there we go then Vesio then is uh, where he's going he's coming in the pit lane then he is coming in the pit lane uh, from the race lead then Equaz carries on then so does Needham and Cam then and Coop then I think we've got a few more drivers carrying on as well I think everyone's carrying on apart from Vesio who's coming in the box then to a, uh, another another set of hard compound tires uh, hard compound tire going on at McLaren then as his uh, first uh, well I suppose you could say scheduled stop then of course the safety car then has uh, played a bit of havoc then with his strategy then as um, Styles stays out as well then Sirius Russian stays out everyone's staying out then apart from Vessia then Vessia Rocket Lizo Vintage Kaz in the box then and uh, that is uh, that is the strategy then for those drivers then they of course have gone on to a fresh set of tyres then hard compounds for Vessia who of course was the uh, pre pre previous race leader there Rocket Lisa on to mediums then hards for vintage hards for cars and of course uh, Farfin is also on the hard compound tyres as well after making a stop then on the last lap as well so there we go <laughs> so uh, right now we've got a second safety car on to lap 6 now oh, on lap 6 lap 7 has commenced We've got uh, 51 laps remaining then at the end of this one. So um, by this math, I think we're going to have seven, uh, three every seven laps. That means we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to have 21 by lap 49. So that would mean we've got maybe left in the race. So, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, right then. So uh, well, we'll have to see what's going to happen here. That well, I think we might be commentating uh, long into the night then with only a few drivers left in this race if it carries on the way it has started. So uh, let's see. Uh, but uh, to be fair, the uh, incidents that have occurred then uh, Moomin Ninja that had an issue then with his connection and then uh, his car DNF'd himself under the uh, under the safety car and uh, then we've got Kamara Racer who pit and quit just before Kiki then who lost the car at uh, turn 5 then and uh, DNF'd his uh, Mercedes then after a win in uh, a win in Abu Dhabi last week then a pole position in Abu Dhabi and a pole position here in Australia as well then it looked to be going his way but unfortunately uh, consistency is key then and that is why we've seen 
Bordeaux. Like I was talking about Bordeaux in the qualifying, had a difficult qualifying, but the championship leader now up into P7 then, and he's picking off the drivers in one by one, and uh, he's got himself into a uh, very high scoring points playing position as well then. So uh, that is not too done and dusted in the Bordeaux. The championship leader is looking good here in Australia as well. And Bath is back in the pit lane, so Bath is going to on the hard compound tires now as well. So he is uh, cruising back to the pit for the Haas team looking to get some uh, 10, uh, 10, po 10 uh, pit, uh, pit stops then in this race it looks like potentially could be on the cars then I think with the uh, way the race is going so far but uh, there we are then um, there we are then good stuff indeed and uh, there's somebody asking uh, Kaz asking for engineering help I'm not quite sure if I'm in the right car, right guys to speak to you to speak to you about that uh, there we go then uh, right we've got uh, Equaz now takes the lead of the Grand Prix then after Vessia's stop then and Geeky's retirement uh, lap 8 then of 58 so we're going to have 50 laps remaining then at the end of this one uh, still quite a long way to go I would say so myself then but uh, we've got uh, we've had two safety cars already um, there is a limit on safety cars uh, so uh, fingers crossed then at the, some point it will just um, ignore people crashing out I think uh, but um, yeah we'll wait and see fingers crossed the race can, uh, can uh, come back to uh, the uh, drivers and the drivers favour in the uh, next few laps we'll take it, take it easy to keep it clean uh, we'll be rewarded of course as uh, I always say but uh, that is especially the case in 100% as well and unfortunately uh, the uh, retirement zone for Kiki then was just pushing too hard through turn 5 we're in the pit lane all uh, under the safety car and so uh, there's a uh, apply anyway so there we go <laughs> so uh, good stuff right then uh, safety car is back in this lap then Equaz now is the de facto race leader and uh, we can crack on then for the restart of this Grand Prix now as well then as we uh, take ourselves away through lap 8 the end of lap 8 now as well on to lap 9 then 58 50 laps sorry remain at the end of this one then as uh, we get ourselves uh, cruising then onto lap nine as well. The Nekwaz has gone. He dropped the hammer then as we go through the penultimate turn then in the Alfa Romeo then trying to catch out New Zealand can then. I think they might have caught out Coop slightly as we go through the final quarter. The Williams, the Williams driver catching up now as we go down the main straight then to start off lap nine of 58 here. As uh, into the oh dear, we've got Vintage with a problem as well then. Vintage is off the circuit at the final quarter then. He's back underway. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what happened to Vintage there as well. Then Kaz has been passed by Fav, has he? Yes, he has then into P15 for Fav. Then Vintage just got himself back underway now as well, but he's lost out that whole main straight then. As Vintage, where is he going? He needs to get himself on the grey stuff. Um, blimey, I thought he was going to go off into the green. <laughs> he's going to go bowling or something there. Vessia then has got himself past Marvsky now. Jin has got a three-second penalty. Then he's got himself past Gordo, but Gordo is, of course, on the medium compound tyres. The soft compound for Jin then will be a bit faster, I think, at this stage end. Of course, he has pitted under the... I think he's pitted under the first safety car uh, but uh, there we go then the safety car then has uh, got himself away then and back back underway then for the race as we've got Styles then I thought dropping off the back then of the two ahead uh, trying to get himself a bit of clean air I think then sick as muck then all over the back of Jay Hings as we go through the chicane then uh, flying through then I thought he was going to be I thought that was the first set and there was no it was uh, it was it was, it was Equaz and New Zealand can then into sector three we go then going to go side by side down the inside for the Alpha Tower and then there's contact made but he's got himself ahead just about then at the apex then into P1 now yeah, quite dropping down to P2 and now with Coop for company as well then Archie beat them dropping off the back of the top three as it stands the soft compound tyres potentially starting to uh, fade away then at this stage of the race then he's done 10 laps almost on the soft compound uh, 9 laps I suppose you could say at the end of this one uh, but uh, there we go then Gina then into a P7 now sick as muck then in P6 uh, good stuff from him then Gordo then just waiting behind Gina now in, waiting in the wings then like I said very patient then from Gordo once again then to uh, try and pounce then when he can then fast that's the fastest after race then trying to get himself back in the race he's already on the back of Rocket Lisa no he's uh, that is Rocket Lisa on the back of Martin as we go through into sector one for the tenth time. Down the down towards the heavy breaking zone of turn four as well, turn three, sorry I should say. I should say as we uh, got ourselves got ourselves through then unscathed. Good stuff indeed. Then Rocket Lisa sits behind for the time being. They're stuck behind Marsky as it stands as well. Then Marsky of course is on the half compound tire. So it'll be a bit slower at this stage then compared to uh oh dear. Uh, compared to uh, those around him. I thought I thought uh, Equaz then was uh, in the fight then, but he's actually lost out then to DRS of New Zealand Cow. New Zealand Cow on the in the Alpha Tari is flying through then. Of course a uh, home driver then for the Alpha Tari, then Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, 
with Ricardo, as uh, he wants me to say. Uh, but uh, there we go. His uh, <laughs> was uh, looking to uh, looking to impress the new V carb then on Sunday night. But I'm sure uh, New Zealand can then will look to uh, look to impress even further then if he takes the win here in the Alvatari as uh, he's looking good indeed so far then he's almost got that gap to one second to Equas then can Equas hold on to that DRS though is the question I think he has done actually as we go through the final corner we'll find out he hasn't I don't think he has anyway no it hasn't been enabled that's why there we go DRS now enabled there we go so <laughs> sorry I was getting ahead of myself there as uh, there he is within one second Cooper just outside one second R2B holding on to the top three as it stands as well Jay Hings waiting in the wing then P5 Jay Hings looking good indeed so far in this race sickers Mark going all over the back of them as well then Gino is caught up to the fight so has Gordo so has Hungry Styles so has Serious Mushroom then as the top ten are all in a uh, all in a jousting fight then as Rocket Lizo and Marvsky then passing each other then into turn three the Alfa Romeo is ahead now of the Williams then on the hard compound of course so uh, of course those hard compound tyres we think to, we think we hope will phase in that's what their job is uh, will phase in towards the uh, well, when the uh, mediums and the softs start to drop off of course as well uh, Vintage is only 9 seconds off the pack then he's trying to get himself back in the fight as well then Equaz has dropped out of that DRS window then of New Zealand Cam New Zealand Cam has done a great job then of getting himself out of that one second danger zone then and now trying to push on then in the Alpha Tower as well then Vintage picks up a penalty unfortunately for Vintage that is going to be very bad news then for his race time at the end of the Grand Prix uh, Coop then is all over the back then of Equaz here he comes there down towards sector 3 no he thinks better of it then he thought he was going to line up a move then for P2 but not quite then Equaz is out of battery deployment as well then Farf and Marv he's switching places then into P13 Farf has got himself got both then into turn into turn 10 turn 11 turn 12 I should say up into P12 uh, for the Haas driver then good stuff indeed of course that penalty would come back to bite him potentially at the end of the race then but can he power on now on those hard, on those medium compact tyres then and get himself further up the order then away from the penalty range uh, Coop then up into P2 getting himself past the uh, Alfa Romeo then of Equaz and now trying to chase down the Alfa Tari of New Zealand can then he's got 1.7 second gap to try and close down but of course a double dosage of DRS around here of course with uh, turns one, after turns 1 and 2 as uh, side by side uh, Williams and a Ferrari then Marski and Mar Martin are uh, baffling away then side by side as we go down towards turn three then can Marski hold the inside he can he's got the inside still as he's trying to fight off that Ferrari then into turns three and four he's got the position then he kept the position as well then into P14 then for Marski then good stuff indeed as we fly through into turns five as well stuff indeed so far <laughs> here comes Jay Hings then on the attack now of R2 beat then and there's, a, there's an Aston Martin as well going for the move as well into the chicane that is dodging indeed but he's got the position then and Gordon Jinner is out of the race and Jinner then making contact I think then with the back of I think it was the hats of R2 beat and it's both the Mercedes out of the Grand Prix safety car deployed and Jinner then with a big smash then at the exit of the chicane then Kaz and Vintage will be able to catch up to the back of the queue there uh, but uh, blimey I'm not quite sure what happened there because Jinner looked I think because uh, Sickers Mark went down the inside then of, uh, of R2P then at the chicane R2P had to hold off then to avoid making contact with the Aston Martin and Jinner was still flying through at a break next speed then into the back of the uh, pass there as well then so I didn't see well, I think that's what happened. I didn't see exactly what happened. Vessia carries on then on the hard compound tires. He takes back the lead then as Jinner has left the session. Then four drivers retired then on lap 13. As safety car is out for the third time then. I think we're going to run out of safety cars here. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we will. <laughs> but there we go. So <laughs> there we go. Farf carries on. Same for Rocket Lizo uh, out in... Well, everybody else is in the pit lane. Here. So, so well, that is done dusted then for the strategy for those guys. They're on to a fresh set of tires regardless of what tire it is. Then hard compound for Cam Cooper and Equaz. Uh, and there we go, the medium compound for Jay Hings, hards for Sickers, but then R2B onto medium. Soft compound tyres for the championship leader Gordo. Uh, medium is for Serious Mushroom, then Vintage has stayed out then into P12, then ahead of his teammate now, Hungry Styles is on medium compound tyres. Same for Miles in P14. Martin on P in P15 on the hards, and Kaz on the softs in P16. Um, right, <laughs> so um, right then, that's the. Uh, I can't remember how many seats there. Uh, but there we go. That's another safety car, that is, anyway. And uh, we, of course, now have only uh, 16 drivers remaining in the race. I think that's basically on track, then, for um, for at least one person to finish the race at the end of the Grand Prix. Uh, I will have to wait and see. Uh, but um, I can't do the maths in my head. Then it's a 13 out of 58. What is that, then? 26, then uh, what is it? 20, uh, 39, and then we've got 40, uh, 52. 52 is, so we're not reporting the way through the race just yet. And we've got lost, uh, we lost four drivers. Uh, so if we get to um, yeah, if we get to the quarter part, quarter mark, 
Uh, what is that then? So that would be about... Uh, ooh, can't do the maths in my head. It's very quickly. It's very difficult indeed. 29 is halfway distance. Um, so half of 29 is... I can't do the maths in my head. It's too difficult. Um, but, uh, yeah, 29, I'm, 29, I'm really struggling for it. This, this one, this one, there we go. Um, three and a half, I think that is. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're um, we're almost on track now to have at least one finisher in this Grand Prix if the uh, rate of retirement carries on at this uh, same rate then. Uh, but fingers crossed it doesn't then. We've only uh, lost one driver then in the last, uh, well, almost uh, the last eight laps, I think it is, something like that. Uh, but uh, there we go then, as uh, into turn one we go then, lap 14 has commenced. Uh, so uh, we've got three drivers at the top of the field then, Vessia, Farf and Rocket Lee, who have um, not pitted then under this safety car then. Same for Vintage P12 then. Of course, he was further back then after the spin at the final corner there on the safety car restart on the previous safety car. So hopefully he can get himself back in the Grand Prix now and back underway uh, right then well, he's going to come to the question. Uh, 14 is a quarter then uh, 14 and a half I think is the quarter isn't it yes yeah, so we've lost well, technically yeah we have lost four four drivers in the first quarter which um, means that we will lose we will lose another four in the, in the second quarter that is uh, 12 left if we lose another four in the third quarter that is uh, eight left and we lose another four in the final quarter that is four left so technically if we lose four per quarter we uh, finish with four drivers in there. so that could be interesting um, <laughs> it could be a bit uh, difficult for me to commentate on to be fair uh, especially if they're spread out but um, uh, nonetheless of course if you are uh, if you are a slower driver that is your chance to get some big points here as well uh, because uh, if there are people start crashing out all over the place then that, that is um, your prerogative to stay in the Grand Prix as well then. but uh, there we are Good stuff indeed. Right then, we are ready to get back racing. I think then Vessia takes the race start once again then. Uh, I think this is the second one now, I believe, as we get ourselves uh, cruising back to the uh, back to the laps end as Martin and Kaz are switching places then under the safety car. Well, this is uh, very not smart, very, very unsmart things to do. And unsmart, I don't believe, is a word. Uh, but there we go. So <laughs> that just shows exactly my height. <laughs> so there we are. Vessia then and uh, Farfel. Far Vessia will lead us away. Farfel has about three seconds. I don't know whether they'll be added onto his race time. Same for Vintage as well then. Vessia taking a very slow restart then. But of course, safety car is back in the pit lane. So eventually they'll be able to go past him soon. Uh, but um, he's taking his time for some reason. Uh, but I am not quite sure why, to be honest. Because uh, like I said, it's probably better off to try and go early and catch out your rivals rather than just uh, wait to the line. Of course, if you wait to the line, they know exactly when you're going to go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there we are. As uh, down towards turn one we go, then lap 15 of 58 has commenced as we go into turns one and two. And uh, Vessia takes hold of the lead, then Farthen into P2. Rocket Lee in P3. He's under pressure from losing and Cando on the fresh hard compound tyres. Then into turn three, can the Alvatari go around the outside? Into turn three, he's going to be close indeed. He has gone around the outside. Has he held the position is the question. And yes, he is up into the podium places then for New Zealand Cam. Great overtake indeed. Then round the outside then of the Alfa Romeo. Then losing uh, Rocket Lee, sorry, holding on at this stage as well. Then, of course, he's on older tyres compared to those on the fresh hards around him as well currently. There could be some fresh medium tyres running through the order as well very soon. Fresh softs as well for Gordo as well in that case. And for Kaz in P16. Then Coop and uh, Equaz switching places then into P5 for Equaz. Then up ahead of the Williams driver. And he takes hold of that uh, next place. And here he goes then behind his teammate of Rocket Lee. Uh, Will there, will there be some team orders down at Alfa Romeo then to relinquish that P4 position for Rocket Lee then for Ekwaz's favour? Uh, I'm not quite sure there's going to be anything in that, uh, in that regard. Vessier and Favre though. Vessier and Favre. Favre takes the lead of the Grand Prix then into sector three we go. Sick as muck and Jay Hing switching places as well then into sector three. There's a there's a, there's a McLaren there. There's a McLaren. There's, Gord, there's contact there between Gordo and uh, Gordo and Sick as muck there. And uh, Sick as muck then has lost out to uh, R2B as well. R2B on the medium compound tires has sliced his way through then. And uh, Gordo then I think was a bit uh, bit uh, keen to get through that corner as quickly as possible then, wasn't he? Uh, but he got himself through and I think they got themselves through unscathed as well, which is good stuff. Uh, no DRS yet for Vessia then, but he's all over the back still of Favre. Nonetheless, then in towards tech turn three then down towards turn three I should say it's Vessia going for the outside move uh, around the outside can he hold it though far then on the medium compound tyres then has gone deep on the brakes then could open the door for Vessia around turn four then can he hold the position this time not quite then there's a oh there's an Alpha Tari then of uh, using the camera getting a bit squirrely on the exit there but he's got himself sorted as well then Rocket Lee then trying to cling on to the back of the pack here as Equaz then is now trying to get himself past his teammate then and I'm not quite sure there is any team orders down at Alpha Romeo then because they don't seem to have kicked in just yet then maybe there's a bit of Sonoda and Ricardo um, esque uh, radios going on down there but uh, 
uh, so far so good then uh, here comes Vesey they're on the attack then of Farf then into the chicane this is going to be tight indeed then Farf is, uh, stays ahead then Vesey thinks, thinks twice about it then and uh, keeps himself in the race as well then uh, not with Farf then kind of be uh, lingering about then you don't want to be uh, battling with Farf too much through that sort of chicane then here comes Rocket Lee and Ekpa then switching places then Rocket Lee then I think has almost lost out to Coop then as we go into sector three and uh, Coop then all over the back now with the Williams and Jay Hinks has been passed by Gordo on the soft compound tires those softs are really kicking in now here comes Gordo then on the attack then trying to go around the outside of Rocket Lee as well then into into the final couple of corners then Rocket Lee there's contact with Gordo and uh, Gordo's now lost out to that turn to that place then of Jay Hinks as well then as we go on to the main straight then Gordo's lost out to R2B as well then with that contact and um, I think Rocket Lee then of course uh, don't think Gordo actually realised that Gordo uh, that uh, Rocket Lee sorry is on the older medium compound tyres and has not pitted under that second safety on that third safety car Half has lost out the lead then to New Zealand Cam or has he uh, he's pushed the Alpha Tari then off the circuit then that is going to be very costly indeed then for Farf then uh, because of course that uh, battling that is uh, going to be excessive and classed as excessive then there's almost almost contact to go through turn 5 and 6 then sorry there's something in the eye uh, but I'm trying to blink it out then because we want to see this battle here Farf thinks Holt keeps, keeps hold of the position then New Zealand Cam then is off uh, is off not off the circuit then he's right behind them but he's been uh, passed by Vessier as well then Vessier and uh, Vessier has uh, both of them have gone past Farf as well they go down towards the chicane then Farf is losing out could be lose out to Equaz as well then there's contact Equaz then off the circuit then as well then there's now the Williams of Coop comes through there's more contact with the with an Alfa Romeo then there's an Alfa Romeo off the circuit as well then Coop and Rock, Rocket Lee sorry has been spun and uh, blimey I'm not quite sure what is going on there uh, but um, it all started with uh, there's an Alpha battle off the circuit it's an Alpha Tauri off the circuit there as well another another person getting a bit hot headed then on the brakes as we go into the sector 3 for the 17th time now uh, but uh, unfortunately there, there's all sorts of action piling up then into t into uh, the chicane and uh, well towards the chicane that is uh, Vessia then is still within DRS range of New Zealand Cam then just about then Farf then has lost out two places then to Vessia and to New Zealand Cam then after all the battling that unfolded through that lap then as Rocket Lee is back in the pit is into the pit line as you saying and Rocket Lee has done 10 laps on the medium compound tyres is there damage then for the Alfa Romeo no there isn't he's onto the uh, hard compound then and away he goes so it's a strategic call then for the Alfa Romeo team then uh, got out the way of his teammate very quickly indeed then didn't he but uh, unfortunately I think he uh, cost himself quite, uh, quite compromised himself then to uh, Coop then and Gordon now who's uh, into P6 then back ahead of the uh, of the hassle so I should say of R2B on the soft compound tyres oh blimey as uh, Vesio has lost that Alva Tari is absolutely flying then for uh, for New Zealand Camden and he's done a great job in this uh, in this uh, uh, well, green and not green it's a uh, blue and uh, white machine uh, Farber got himself past Vesio now up into P2 back up into P2 I should say then he is within DRS still of New Zealand Cam as well then so that is going to bring him back into the fight potentially then with the uh, race leader and uh, that is not what the race leader wants to see of course he wants to cruise off into the distance then comfortably indeed uh, but uh, Farf actually has not got DR will, not, will not have DRS then onto the main straight I don't think it's too far back at this stage then Vesio can mount an attack once again then for P2 as it stands then uh, just need to keep their heads on their shoulders does the uh, drivers then as well uh, so we go through onto lap 19 now fastest lap then for Cam then he is really going for it here comes Vesio then can he go for P2 serious Mushroom set the fastest lap as well then great stuff from Mushroom he's really charging on then in P9 now as uh, we go through turns uh, one and two then Vesio now on the inside then for turn three then he's got the DRS then he's got the position he's up into P3 and ahead now of the Haas of Farf then as we go towards turn four now and I think yeah Farf then is uh, settled then for P3 and not that Farf settles for anything but uh, there we go as uh, into turn five we go then Vesio now ahead into P2 two point two, almost two seconds of the gap then to the race leader of New Zealand Cam I think we're going to start to disappear into the distance then for New Zealand Cam then he will not be seen on our screens just like this happened and um, there we go uh, but uh, there we are then uh, Farf now is trying to get himself back up into P2 this battle raging on then as it drops all the way down to P12 at this stage and everyone within DRS range Vessia has been passed then by Farf then up into P2 for, for the Haas driver once again as we go through the chicane then as we've got double doses like I said of DRS then for the Haas driver as uh, here comes Equaz then can Equaz line up a move then for P2 a P3 on track then not quite then as it stands and he sits behind the McLaren once again then Farf then is the bottleneck then in this uh, in this battle as well as Gordo looking to shape up a move on the Williams of Coop uh, but he is um, thinking very wisely about that as well I think uh, which is good stuff this battle this of course if he gets something wrong in this battle as well then it's going to be very costly indeed because you're going to drop out the field uh, drop out the fight then from P12 downwards is this fight as well then here comes Gordon then he slots back in behind 
as far from Vesha continues to switch places then Vesha now up into P2 then down the main straight through turns one and two then he takes back that P2 position then now Farf has not got DRS to play with then in towards turn three then he goes he stays P3 I should say I should say I should say into uh, turns two uh, turns four and five as well then so Vesha then takes back P2 then now 2.4 seconds of the gap I thought there was something going off in the distance in the background there but no it's uh, a okay then it's just the shadows then playing tricks with my mind uh, so there we go good stuff indeed at some point the uh, soft compound tires will start to drop off then for Gordo and for Kaz as well then those are those are the two on the soft compounds at this stage of the race uh, so they will uh, start to face the effects then of those soft compounds in the next few laps as well although Gordo then is pushing Coop through the through the corners and into the chicane then Gordo thinks twice then about uh, going down the inside there it's a very fast paced corner then a very fast paced couple of corners of course as uh, Gordo then going very wide then through uh, the next corner then trying to get himself around the outside then of the Williams car then he's got the position up into P5 now and takes that place away from the Williams car. Of course, a bit of a disparity then between the compounds and tyres, then hard compound tyres for the Williams and soft compounds for the, for the, uh, for the Gordo, for the McLaren as we go through into lap 21 now. New Zealand Cam is uh, stretching his legs there. 2.2 is the gap then to Vessia. Of course, he's on fresher tyres as well, which will help him out later on in this race. Rocket Lee picks up a penalty then for his uh, for his efforts then on the uh, hard compound tyres as well. Though, of course, he's pitted under that, uh, well, not under that, anything really. He's pitted. <laughs> Sorry, he's <laughs> pitted. And uh, he is, of course, going to uh, hope that he can get himself back in the pack, then, uh, at the, uh, then in the next phase, then, of course, for the stop still to come, then, for the rest of the grid. Uh, yellow flags. Yellow flags is for Rocket Lee as well. Just as I say that, he's had a spin and got himself back underway. Vessi is out the race as well. Then Vessi had a smash as well. Then there's a safety car again. And where's that, then? Where's Vessi gone? I don't know. Uh, where is Vessi gone, then? That is the question we can't see. Uh, I think he's gone at the exit of turn four, the entry to turn five. Rocket Lee is DNF in the pit lane. I don't think he was aware there was a safety car, so we've had two retirements and 14 remain in this race. Uh, um, where were we? 12. It was 12, wasn't it, for the um, for the halfway point, so we've only got two left to go. Uh, so, uh, so far, so good. Uh, but uh, there we are then, as uh, Rocket Lee then is out of the race as well. Then Vessia then with a big smash at turn four is out of the race too. And uh, Rocket Lee then out of the Grand Prix as well, then retiring in the pit lane. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why, because he was there was a safety car out before he got himself to the pits as well. So uh, he could have got himself back into the race uh, with this safety car here. Will New Zealand Cam come in the pit lane? The question then, will Farb come in the pit lane? Will Equus come in the pit lane? Will they all come in the pit lane? Who knows? Uh, uh, New Zealand Cam, sorry, is staying out there. It looks like, I think he is. Yes, he is. There is the Alvatari going through the final quarter then on to lap 22. Then say Cole will catch him up. And we will get ourselves restarted, I think, as far as well. Five second over speed in the pit lane, then Ekwaz carries on as well then. So Ekwaz now takes back, uh, takes P2. Vessi out the Grand Prix. And um, that is uh, bad news then for, well, not bad news, sorry, it's bad news for Favre, isn't it? That penalty then is going to be added on to his uh, next pit stop time or his uh, race time at the end as well then. Gordo is in the pit lane on medium compound tyres now as well then. All sorts of pit activity. Uh, Kaz is also coming in the pits as well then. Martin has been passed by Vintage then under the, uh, under the well, in the pit stop phase and he takes back P12 as well then. So there we go. Pit stop activity for everyone from P9 downward then everybody from P8 upwards has stayed out. Uh, they have done nine laps or so on their tyres. halfway point 20 28 or something like that uh so yeah i mean to be fair we could be in the range of having a four drivers every uh, every quarter of the race um but yeah uh nearly there so uh, great stuff indeed uh we're on lap 22 of 58 then uh so how many laps is that then we've got remaining climbing well, too many to count 30 something uh, so great stuff indeed then we have less drivers to commentate on and uh, more laps to go uh, so there we are then Kaz then catching up to the back of the safety car key and uh, we can get ourselves restarted at the end of lap 23 I think it is so this is the fourth safety car so we want to have one safety car left and then after that whatever happens happens uh, so there we go uh, right uh, so let's see what's going to be uh, happening next and what are the uh, strategies going to be like I think we're going to see we've not seen the soft combine tyres get more than really uh, 10 or 12 laps to be fair that's what we've seen for the week, but uh, they could have gone a bit longer uh, I'd expect maybe 15 laps or so uh, 20 or so laps then on the medium compound tyres so that would, that would, we would expect that the uh, the likes of RTB the likes of Mushroom the likes of Mushroom the likes of Mushroom are halfway through their uh, stint I would imagine roughly that is um 
so that will be uh, one to lap four to, where would that take them lap uh, 35 or so and then they can pick maybe, maybe another set of medium compact tires and maybe set hard to the end of the grand prix from there uh, let's wait and see because we have no idea uh, so there we go then Gordo has said if you finish you get points then um, pretty much <laughs> so at this at this stage pretty much it's going to happen uh, because well we're on track then for uh, only four finishes put it that way Gordo so um, yeah uh, the maths was right from your end <laughs> but um, so far it is uh, not looking uh, not looking too rosy on this end <laughs> so uh, bear with us one second whilst we uh, try and get ourselves restarted then for the time but uh, hopefully we get ourselves some uh, good racing then after this one uh, Rocket Lee though is um, blaming his teammate for uh, for that one I'm not quite sure what happened in between uh, Rocket Lee I think it was Equaz then I think that might have been when they were trying to well Equaz was trying to get past he was on much fresher tyres was Equaz and of course he's uh, uh, well he's, he's in the well he's in the Alpha Mare for a reason put it that way very fast driver is Equaz then but uh, I didn't it seemed like there was some sort of miscommunication then between the Alpha uh, Romeos uh, at the uh, earliest, earlier part of this race safety car coming in this lap then New Zealand can then of course is the de facto race leader and uh, will be restarting this Grand Prix then from P1 which is pretty much where you start with the race leader um, so there we go uh, 14 drivers remain in this race and uh, I, I can't uh, help but, uh, but laugh because it is uh, well, it is part of the part of the Australian Grand Prix isn't it really um, like I said in the first 100% league we had I think it was 12 finishes overall um, that was because the safety car in it capped out as well um, but uh, we oh <laughs> did he just crash under the safety car uh, I don't know I think it might have been me um, but uh, yeah um, okay. right, I'm not quite sure what's happening to New Zealand Cam then it seems to be ghosting uh, and it did seem to drive into the wall as well then so um, um, yeah <laughs> it's always gone from bad to worse I think uh, there's all sorts of action in the background and Gordo is um, already gone then as um, New Zealand Cam is down the field uh, his AI car is um uh, uh, has he left the session? I can't even tell, to be honest. I'm not quite sure. As Sick as Muck had an issue then as well. Then Sick as Muck went off the circuit at turn two. Hungry Styles and Farth then switching places as we go into turn three. Uh, what has happened there? I'm not quite sure what happened then. As we, I think New Zealand Cam is out of the race. He's not in his car, is he? I don't think. Well, he's ghosted anyway, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there for New Zealand Cam. Uh, regardless, we'll have to crack on, I'm afraid. Uh, so 13 drivers remain in this race, and Ekbaz takes the lead then as we go on to lap 24 of 53. Coop then P2 as it stands, and R2B into P3 then. As again, uh, looking strong so far, but we're still in the halfway distance, and my, uh, and my, uh, my head is... Um, uh, um, so if there's another safety car, I'm going to have to have a, a rest point. Um, so uh, bear with me on that one, but uh, fingers crossed we have anything, uh, anything of the sort then for the rest of the race. Uh, New Zealand Cam then I think is uh, struggling with his connection so bear me one second off I get himself get him an invite sent if it will let me um, uh, X New Zealand Cam there he is invitation sent uh, Favre and Artie beat the teammates are battling away then side by side then through the final couple of corners then as Favre's going to go around the outside then and he has has he has he got the hand up there uh, not quite sure there's any team orders going on at all then for all the teams out there because it seems like Alfa Romeo then and Haas uh, both decided just to battle away then and uh, and carry on regardless and it doesn't matter if they're your teammate or not then you have to battle it seems Jay Hinks with the penalty unfortunately Jay Hinks then through turns two and three uh, one and two sorry I should say uh, Gordon Van Lars move on, on R2 beat then they can't quite then Favre now putting the pressure on Hungry Styles as we go through turns four and five then and uh, into sector two, then lap 25 of 58 has commenced. As uh, into sector two we go, then uh, Hungry Styles holding off the uh, holding off the Haas for the time being. Then out in front, a 1.9 second gap between Equaz and Coop. Then Sirius Rushman then into the podium places. Then uh, R2B then was in P3. Then he must have had an issue somewhere. But I completely missed that. Then Sirius Mushroom then round the outside of Coop into P2 and uh, Coop then down into P3 then still in the podium places then for Coop then but Sirius Russian then looking to mount a charge then on the Alfa, Alfa Romeo sorry of Equaz then as it stands and here comes Favre then trying to go around oh my god it's going to speed then there's almost contact between the two of them there Favre and Hungry Styles then as they uh, looked like they were going to get their wheels mixed up then but uh, both the uh, both the Hasses now are in a well, the, the, the one Red Bull is on a, in a bit of a Hass sandwich as it stands then of uh, Favre and R2P uh, but there we go 
Uh, Rocket Leader said his teammate had a moment and caused an accident, says, uh, says um, Rocket Leader. So I'm not quite sure if, if he was referring to Ekpazin, but I think uh, it seemed like Ekpaz has already got himself through. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to wait and see after the race then. Uh, but uh, regardless, then we'll crack on then. So far, so good. Uh, Newton can then can't get himself back in the race. Uh, well, hasn't got himself back in the race, I don't think. Uh, unless he has, and I can't see that it doesn't look like he is then, so uh, he is done and dusted then for uh, using the camera, which then 26 maps have uh, commenced then. I didn't see him leave the session then, but it seemed like he was a bit, uh, his connection was a bit dodgy then, wasn't it, under the safety car restart, wasn't it, as uh, he seems to go into a wall. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting stuff indeed. There we go. Uh, on to lap 26 of go. We go then. We've got 32 laps remaining now. I think we can do that now. As uh, Coop then coming through into uh, into try and mount an attack then on the Ferrari of uh, Serious Mushroom. I think we get the words out. Milky, milky, milky Damper, we saw him last week. Uh, but uh, there we go. Then far down to P4 then. R2 Beat then is trying to get himself past uh, past the Rebel of uh, Hungry Star then Marsky and Cordo switching places then Cordo now dropping down to P8 then I think unless he was ahead uh, I'm not quite sure what the order was done before that but uh, there we go either way it has changed because there was some arrows on the screen uh, but um, yeah I'm not quite sure which, which order it went in but uh, there we are uh, of course the top seven have not uh, sorry five have pitted under the same car uh, the top of uh, four or six of the top seven haven't pitted under the last safety car fast it's the fast and after racing trying to get himself up into the fight then for the podium places then Gordo has got himself past Marsky has he yes he has then into turn one and now on to the back, well not onto the back just yet then because Marski still managing the pressure then. Marski trying to go for the attack here as well, down the uh, straight then towards turn three. And Gordo holds on to the position then up into P7 now for the McLaren driver. Good stuff indeed. Uh, he's the only McLaren left in the race then after Vessio is out of the Grand Prix then with that big smash then causing a safety car. Six drivers are out of the Grand Prix including both Mercedes uh, who of course got themselves a double podium then last week in Abu Dhabi then. One double podium then, zero to, well hero to zero unfortunately then, for the Mercedes team. Um, just like in real life, then, you know, um, not too much heroes right now, but uh, of course, we'll turn it around, we'll have to wait and see. Farf now on the back of Coop, then he's got himself, well, he was on the back of Coop, then he's now ahead into the podium places now for Farf, then ahead of the Williams, then into the Chicane we go. Chasing down Sirius Mushroom in the gap, coming down to the race leader, then for Mushroom. Six, uh, 1.6 seconds now for the Ferrari driver then to the Alfa Romeo ahead it was over two seconds at one point then uh, Gordo and R2 beat then Gordo and R2 beat switching places then into sector three not quite sure what happened then to Gordo there he's going very wide then on the exit there I think trying to uh, well maybe had a mistake then on the exit as well then but he's got himself up into P6 now nonetheless and trying to chase down Hungry Stars of course Gordo is on fresher tyres compared to those ahead of him apart from Favre and Favre is on the hard compared to the memes as well then so there's all to play for still uh, like I said we're not halfway yet so uh, we still have plenty to play, play for indeed. Uh, 29 of uh, 29 of 58 is the halfway point. Uh, so yeah, then we still got another 29 to go. Uh, so there we are. Gordon then is uh, out of the DRS range and the hungry stars then who's doing a great job then in P5. Now I don't want to curse him too much because I don't know if not be thanking me uh, but uh, there we go then sorry serious rushing now under pressure from Favre as we go through turn five and I thought Favre lost the, almost lost the car then Martin picked up a penalty I thought Favre also got a penalty as well then but it was Martin then in P11 then like I, like what I was saying in the comment section under the safety car if you keep it clean if you get to the finish line you're pretty much guaranteed some points here as uh, here comes Favre then on the attack then of the on the on the Ferrari he's got himself out into P2 back up into P2 of course where he was previously and now into the fight then with Equaz as well then of course the penalty situation is not in his favour that, that, that penalty is a long wait in the distance before he gets added on to his race time so we'll have to wait and see how the race unfolds first before the uh, penalty get added on of course uh, lap 28 of 58 then 30 laps remain then uh, well, 30 laps remain at the beginning of next one so uh, we're almost at the halfway point uh, but then Favre then is now only 1.3 seconds behind Equaz and of course well, he's got a, well, is that a nine lap difference in tyre life as well then in Favre's favour then so that is going to be very good stuff indeed then towards the end of the stint for Equaz as well Favre sets the Vartan up the race then he's pushing on trying to get himself into the range then of the race leader Jay Hings uh, quarter sets the Vartan up the race then Gordon Jay Hings has got himself past Marvsky then into turns one and two then he's back up into P8 now back up into the points bear positions as well for the Alpha Tari team good stuff indeed then uh, unfortunately if you were one out then it's gone from bad to worse. I think, is he back in the car? No. <laughs> no, I thought, was, I thought he was back in the car. Sorry for using the can, but hopefully he can get to back in the Grand Prix. Uh, but uh, we'll wait and see then. Lap 29 of 58, and then we're on to the halfway point then of this Grand Prix here as well then, as we fly through sink into sector two then, and my uh, tooth is starting to hurt, but um, fingers crossed that's um, just a major issue and stuff and I can't worry about. 
Uh, serious smashing is still within DRS range, but he's now under pressure from Coop on Ford. He's got himself past Styles, then into P5 as we fly around this, uh, in fact, right around this DRS train into the chicane as well, then. Uh, oh, dear. Styles lost the car then, so did Coop as well over the curbs, then on the exit of the chicane. Serious Smashing holds on to P3 for the time being. He's still within that DRS window of the Haas. As it stands, then far pushing on, trying to catch up to the Al to the Alfa Romeo. Though I don't think he realises that Equaz is on a much older set of hard compound tires, so he will get himself into the fight regardless. If Equaz's tires start to drop off a lot earlier than the uh, than those on the Haas car, uh, so uh, maybe not uh, maybe not uh, listening to his uh, to his pit rule then as we go on to lap 30 as well then. Uh, internet has exploded says Cam so that is the reason why Cam is not in the Grand Prix as well then so uh, unfortunate for Cam uh, as uh, he was leading the race at the time uh, on that safety car restart and potentially if he can get himself back into the into the car then we can get he can get himself back in the race as well then especially if there's another safety car but uh, I think it's possible we don't have any more of those uh, every every time I say that we have a safety car anyway so uh, there we go I've just got himself back in the race there <laughs> but um yeah, fingers crossed. We will wait and see. Hopefully, Cam can get back in the race. Then he's got 14 seconds to make up. Then on P3, P13, or six o'clock. To be fair, still points available. I think for uh, New Zealand Cam if he gets himself back in. Uh, still a long way to go in this race. Then um, Coop then all over the back now of serious Cam Coop getting himself through for that P3 position. Then uh, he's got that he had a penalty. Didn't see that penalty had that pop up. Then but, um, unfortunately for Coop. Oh my goodness me, all over the back then of Sirius Russian, then almost into the back of the Ferrari then as we go through the chicane, he's gone wide and that could open the door now for Gordo as well, then Gordo pushing through then into P4 and uh, this is like, this is what I was saying, this Gordo has been very uh, consistent, very clean as well then uh, throughout the races this season and he's getting the rewards now up into P4 then and now lining up a move for a podium place then on the back of Sirius Russian as well then as we go into the penultimate corner there for lap 30 and finish off lap 30 is into the pits comes Sirius Russian 17 or 18 laps then on the medium compound tyres so that is an indicator of how far we think the mediums might be able to go then in this uh, or in their next stints then also that could indicate an R2 beat then the R2 beat then uh, Marvski could be coming in the pit very shortly as well then we'll have to wait and see same for Styles in P5 Coopman start with my goodness me. I thought there was going to be some real bang in there. It looked like there was going to be all sorts of contact. As we go into the back then of the Red Bull, then into the into turn three, there's contact between the Williams then and the Red Bull car. And uh, that was, uh, I think that was instigated by the Williams into, uh, into turn three there. But uh, they've got themselves through. Uh, thankfully, that is. Uh, it looked like there was, a, yeah, it was going to be very dodgy indeed then because I thought the style might be spun out there, but he has got himself back underway and holds on to that place as well. Then Coop then going to fight back then with some DRS then down towards the chicane once again. Then that rebel then uh, powering away. Then Barb takes the lead of the Grand Prix. He's caught up to it by then with DRS and he got himself past the Alfa Romeo as well. Then into P1. Then Coop and Styles stay status quo for the time being as well then. Coop going wide over the chicane, over the uh, curbs on the exit of the chicane again there. Coop opened the door for Jay Hing this time. Same as the same as for Gordo, but not quite then. This time then, Gordo then trying to catch up to the top two as it stands and he's 1.6 seconds behind Equaz. Then he's just outside of DRS range for the time being. Then lap 31 complete then as we start off lap 32. Uh, Coop then is still within DRS range then. Oh, he's coming back in the pit. So maybe there's wing damage then for the Williams car. We didn't see any wing damage coming off that uh, Williams then as we go into the box then for the Williams, uh, Williams team. But potentially there was something we didn't see. Uh, R2 beat then is carrying on the 19 laps and then on the medium combat tires. Same for Styles as well. He's hold, holding, on to, holding on to P4 as it stands. Then Coop then into the box. Then what's he going to go on to? It's a... Uh, I'm not quite sure if it was a wing change or not, but it was a teleportation out of the pit lane. Uh, he's onto a medium compound tyre then, so our way he goes, then Sirius Mushroom is... Uh, where was Sirius? Oh my goodness me! Sirius Mushroom has just gone into him then at the... Uh, what is going on there? Sirius Mushroom... I think it might be some glitching going on for my on my screen because... Um, what just happened there? Sirius Mushroom's on old tyres as well. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. He's on 12 lap old medium compound tyres then is Sirius Mushroom. Then I'm not quite sure what is going on there for... Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on there anyway. Uh, Jay Higgs then has taken P4 ahead of Hungry Styles and Far picks up another penalty for his troubles. Then he's now under pressure from Equaz, uh, but of course Equaz is on all the tyres as it stands. Gordo's now caught up to the top two, then into the DRS range now for Gordo uh, on those fresher medium compound tyres as well. 10 laps old, 10 lap old mediums then for Gordo and compared to 19 lap old hards for Equaz. Uh, so that is going to be dodgy stuff indeed. As uh, Vinci did into the top seven then so far so good then for Vinci team for Martin as well then soldiering on uh, uh, sorry not Marski sick as much then it's just outside the top ten with uh, those hard compound tyres like I was saying I'm not, I thought Sirius Martin did pit but he's gone to a 12 lap old mediums then um, 
So I'm not quite sure, unless there was an issue then for Serious Mushroom, I'm not quite sure what happened there either, to be honest. Uh, but uh, he is uh, soldiering on, then six seconds, then two sick as Muckner, who's got that penalty. And then, of course, Akaz is in the uh, eye line then for that final points pair position, as it stands as well then. Uh, so far, so good. Then Coop then is trying to get himself back in the fight then with the... Um, with the Ferrari as uh, we go on to lap 33 of 58 then so there's 25 laps remaining at the end of this one so Ekpaslin is uh, still fighting on there 20 laps then on the hard compound tyres we saw who did we see I think we saw um, who did we see we saw Coop then do uh, a 17 well no 18 18 laps then on the hard compound tyres uh, but those on the hards currently are still soldiering on out there. Here comes uh, Equis and Barney up and moving forward. I can't get himself past either as well. Here he goes into Sector 3. Uh, well, almost, almost into Sector 3 as uh, we fly down towards the uh, towards the reprofile of the right-hander. Here we go, then Coop, then also not Coop, then Gordo trying to go for a move down the inside. Then, sorry, there's something itching me eye as Goop, Go oh, Goop, Goop, Gordo, Gordo and Equaz then battling away. Gordo then getting his elbows out. Then that's uh, uncharacteristic for Gordo. Then he shoved his way through there. Uh, maybe a bit uncharacteristically indeed, but uh, he got himself into P2 and the head now of the Alfa Romeo then as well. Now trying to put the battle on Faf as we fly down the main straight to start off lap 34. It's a bit from style then 20 laps, 21 laps from on the medium compound tyres. He is done and dusted on those tyres now as well. So the box to switch onto the soft compound tyres. That is going to be interesting stuff indeed. 20, 28, 5 laps to go then. I'm not quite sure if he's going to get to the end on those uh, soft compound tyres. Uh, we will wait and see, uh, but uh, Coop's at the fastest half of the race, then off he goes then into uh, into the DRS, win DRS window, I think. Or is he? No, he's not. He's not in the DRS window. I don't think he's not got the DRS activated. Yes, he does now. Never mind. Ignore me. As uh, Hungry Stars come out of the pit lane, he's P13. He's technically last on track because New Zealand Cam is not in the car. Uh, so... Um, so New Zealand Cam then unfortunately has not been able to get himself back in just yet. Uh, so there we go. Then Gordo is now into P2. Then chasing down Faf then for that uh, for that uh, lead. Well, the lead of the Grand Prix then onto lap 34. That is as uh, we go through the chicane once again. Then these drivers then who are still in the Grand Prix. I think we've had the one incident at the chicane, but I don't think it was because of the. Um, oh, I'm going to curse it now. But uh, we we only had one incident at the chicane, and I think it was because uh, Gina was unsighted then with the uh, with the hass of R2P recovering, uh, going through the exit of the chicane. Then R2P has been passed out by Vintage. Uh, he's on much older medium compound tyres is R2 beat that is why Vintage has flown through uh, but uh, like I was saying the um, like I said the, uh, the, the we haven't seen any incidents really at the chicane as we've got uh, we've got Kaz and Sikas Muck then battling away then down in towards sector 3 uh, Equaz is in the pit lane so Equaz is calling a day then on the hard compound tyres 22 laps then on the hards for uh, for him uh, Sikas Muck then and Kaz they were going to resume their battle I think then as oh, Sikas Muck almost losing the car down Coop then trying to go down the inside then of the Aston Martin, he's taken the position, then has a coupe, then up into P, uh, uh, P10, I should say. Then here comes, where's Equaz going to come out? Then he's going to come out ahead of, it, of uh, Kaz, and yes, he is. Coupe then into P10, then, and now all over the back of Kaz as well, then in the Alpine, uh, trying to get himself through, then up into P9. And yes, he's got the boot, he's got the position, he's got the DRS, then he's through and past the Alpine, then into turn three. Sick as Muck, then down to P11, then he's on the hard compound tyres, then soldiering on there on those hards as well. Then Sirius Rushman's got himself back in the fight, then for the points, pen positions as well. Uh, so it's not all done and dusted yet, just yet as well. Then here we go. Then Equaz then on to medium compound tyres. Farf has lost the lead as Gordo takes P1 then uh, through the chicane. Then we go. Then McLaren taking hold of the lead of the Grand Prix. So at this stage, that is 35 laps completed. And uh, Gordo then leads the Grand Prix Championship leader. Then once again looking to extend his championship lead then over his rivals. I think it's Lucas Percy then and... Uh, hmm. Uh, it was Equaz, he's down to P4 as Equaz there, but Equaz of course still in this race then could get some big points then, of course he had just pitted then for the medium compound tyres can he get to the end of the Grand Prix from there, that is the question, Sickers Muck and Kaz then, Sickers Muck and Kaz there's contact between Kaz and Sickers Muck then as we go into the hairpin, not into the hairpin sorry, into the uh, right hander then of sector 3, then r 2 in the pitch as well then r 2 falling a day, then 23 laps then on the medium compound tyres, Sickers Muck then has got himself up into P10 uh, but uh, not quite sure what's going on between these two as well, there, there seems to be a lot of RG bar and then there's RTB coming out of the pit they now I think will be behind um, this battle then Kaz has uh, got sorry Sirius Rushman got himself past Kaz then RTB is going to come out of the pit lane behind these three as we go into turn one now and yes he is then Sirius Rushman now into the points pen positions then but those medium compound cars will start to drop off I think very soon uh, same for I think Sickers Muck's car has already started to drop off as well then as he's uh, having a few issues out there into down to P10 then Sirius Rushman up into P9 and trying to chase down the uh, drivers ahead as well. Equaz, sorry, and Coop then are the uh, two drivers to make a pit stop as well. Then under the uh, well, at this stage of the race, then going to the end of the Grand Prix, I think. 
uh, Hungry Stars, I think might have to pit again then. And Arntu Beat can go to the end, I think, as well. Then he's on the uh, medium compound tyres behind Styles now as well then, uh, but with some DRS to play with as well. And so that is the situation so far. We might see some more stops. Then we've got to go the top six yet to pit again, I think. And potentially for Sirius Muck, for Sickers Muck, and for Kaz as well then. Unfortunately for New Zealand Cam, then he's not in the race, so his AI will pick him at some point. But unfortunately, we can't classify him if he's not in the car. As um, what's happened to Gordon? The Gordon almost lost control of the car then. Like so, I'm not quite sure what's going on down there as well for McLaren. Uh, blimey, it seems there's either connection issues there, or, or it's just or, on my end that is. But uh, or it's um, something else going on there. But who knows? Uh, my battery's getting low on my phone as well. And great stuff indeed. There we go then, Farf now, well, oh, Farf and Gorda then stretch, stretching off in the distance, Jay Hings. Jay Hings has got himself into a podium place then in the Alpha Tarry. And to be fair, if, if he finishes in, in anywhere near the top of those, uh, top well, in the top five, I think I should say, uh, to be fair, if he finishes in the top uh, in the top eight, uh, he's done a fantastic job. New Zealand Cam has joined the race then. He's back in the car. Um, unfortunately for New Zealand Cam then, he is, um, well, he's a bit far off because uh, his internet only just come back online. So uh, he is, where is he? He's almost lapped to be fair uh, but if he wants to carry on then of course that is a fair play to him as well and uh, well, uh, like I said appreciate him getting himself back into the lobby as well uh, Styles then all over the back now of Sick as much on those soft compound tyres then he's going to be soldering on in those uh, in that red on that red uh, in that red ball uh, on those soft compounds as well then here we go then on to the back straight then R2 Big trying to line up a move as well then as we're going to go three wide at one point yes we are then as Styles is through then R2 Beat is through as well then as we go into the chicane then and the order has changed now it is uh, Hungry Styles P10 R2 beat P11 sick as much dropping down the order then on those older hard compound tyres but like I said expecting him to make a stop very soon R2 beat trying to a move on Styles as well then into turn, into turn, into turn, into turn, into turn uh, 13 or 14 I think it is as we uh, go through onto lap 38 then 20 laps remain then at the end of this one now Bless you I said it was, uh, it was um, Gordo and Percy uh, and uh, Vess here then in uh, P uh, in, the, in the championship order that is in the pit comes Marsky then calling it a day then on those uh, oh we've got yellow flags what's it for what's it for is the question there yellow flags I thought we had yellow flags did we, ha did we have yellow flags is that my, my mind playing tricks on me or is that yellow flags I'm pretty sure we had a yellow flag there but uh, never mind ignore me um, it seems like everybody's okay uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, yes, maybe it was Hungry Styles. I'm not quite sure. No, he was, no, he was ahead. Uh, blimey, who knows? Uh, fingers crossed it's all sorted out now. Uh, but, um, yeah, there we go then. So, uh, yeah, in the championship order, then it was, uh, it was Gordo, uh, Lucas Persson, Vestia, and then uh, Ekpo. Then I think uh, with uh, Vestia retiring, Lucas Persson not racing here. Then that will mean that uh, the order is once again changed again uh, into the chicane we go. Then could there some, be some more changes to the order as well? And here comes uh, R2 Beat then. He's on the back of Sirius Mushroom. Then those fresh moving compound tires. He's flying through then up into P9. Is he? Oh, he's late on, late on the brakes for Mushroom. Trying to go around the outside. Then he's held onto the, late, onto the place as well then for the uh, Ferrari driver. The good stuff indeed. Hungry Styles then trying to stretch his legs on those soft compound tires as we go on to lap 39 of 58. And uh, oh, blimey, what's going on there? Around the outside goes R2 Beat, then he's got the position on the uh, on the Ferrari somehow. Three second minute for New Zealand Cam, that means he's definitely back in the car. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, fair play to New Zealand Cam for getting himself back in the race. And of course, if there's a safety car, if he stays on the lead lap, then he can uh, potentially get himself back in the race. Uh, would be a fantastic result indeed, if that uh, was the case, that is. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. R2 Beat then is uh, up into P9 and got himself ahead of Mushroom now, of course, on those much fresher medium compound tyres. Can he get to the end of the Grand Prix is the question. He's going to have to do 24 laps or so. Marvski picks up a penalty on the softs now. So the softs seem... Well, he, there's a few drivers then. I think R2 going stretching, stretching their legs, stretching their stints, I should say, to the soft compound tyres for the final stint of this Grand Prix. And the Marvski, I think, is calling the... Uh, rolling the dice there as uh, Favre takes back the lead then on Gora. Then the soft... Uh, the, sorry, the medium compound tyres, I think, are starting to uh, drop off then. But Gordo's got himself back through into Sector 3. And back up into the places, back up into the lead of the Grand Prix, I should say, as uh, these two carry on their battle. Then vintage uh, Jay Hings, I should say, is doing a fantastic job. I can't say that enough, and he's done a fantastic, a fantastic, fantastic race so far. Uh, Equaz coming back at him as well, though. Equaz, of course, is pitted under the, uh, well, pitted four laps ago then, or five laps ago now. 
uh, to a fresh set of medium compound tyres. So he's gaining, gaining, gaining. So is Coop then on the back of the top five who have yet to pit then. So that could, uh, could unfold the uh, unfold the podium places then uh, later on in this Grand Prix. Of course, we do expect some more stops. Of course, they'll be much faster on the fresher tyres as well towards the end compared to Ekpaz. So it will flip back in their favour. R2 beats that's the fastest lap of race. Then he's all over the back of Hungry Styles now as well as he's going to turn one and two. Then can he make a move then on the Red Bull into turn three? That is the question. Uh, GLS available then Hungry Styles then moves over to cover the outside then R2 Bink goes down the inside then and takes Pelik then good stuff indeed then uh, Marvsky sets the fast lap of race then good stuff on the soft compound tyres those softs are uh, storming on them Marvsky doing a great job in the Williams as well then to be fair uh, like I said he was uh, he was on for a bit of a challenge then was Marvsky then but he's doing a great job so far uh, Kaz then down in P13 I think has to stop again at some point and same for New Zealand Canada who's back in the Grand Prix as well uh, but uh, going to struggle on at this stage as well for fair play to New Zealand Cam. Like I keep saying, he had uh, internet issues that could kick him out of the lobby for at least uh, 15 laps or so and uh, dropped him down the field then after being in AI for a long, long period of time as well. Great stuff. So there we are then, <laughs> 40 laps completed. Uh, no, we haven't. Yes, we have now. 40 laps completed then as we cross the start finish line to start off lap 41, then 18 laps for me. As we go down the main straight in towards turn one, Farf is too far back to make a move then for the race lead at this stage. But can he line up a move then into turn three is the question. Uh, can he line up a move into turn three? He's going to try and go for it, I think. Is he going to go down the inside then at turn three? It's going to be close indeed. There's contact between the two race leaders. Then Gordo then off the uh, onto the curbs. They're just about far this time, leaving him a bit more room as Farf takes the race lead. Uh, we'll have a look at the penalty situation as well then. 14 seconds of penalties. Then I think there's a five second in there for... Uh, no, yeah, I think there's a five second for Farf to serve. Um, three for Jay Hings, three for Vintage, three for Martin currently. Uh, it's, uh, currently, Jay Hings is holding on to the podium places with, pen with the penalty situation at this time. Uh, Coop then three seconds as well then. Ekpaz then is trying to get himself through past Martin as well then. Sick as much got three seconds. Same for Marski and same for New Zealand Cam as well then. Uh, that is the situation with penalties at the moment. And Kaz is in the pit and he's called it a day then. He's on to a set of hard compound tyres. They're six lap old, but he has, uh, had, well, should be able to get the in from there. Ekpaz now all over the back of um, Martin and Coop has got himself through as well then past the Ferrari. Of course, the uh, Ferrari then. Oh, there's contact with the wall then for the Ferrari then. And it's a, it's a safety car. Oh my God. And that is New Zealand Cam's calling I think there uh, he has got himself back in this race then as New Zealand Cam uh, with that safety car and um, fair play for him just sticking it out there because a lot of blows he's just given up then but uh, and that is the reason why he's out but uh, great stuff indeed then New Zealand Cam back on the lead lap and uh, will be able to catch up to the back of the safety car queue as well Cool, climbing. That is interesting stuff indeed. Then here we are. Then on to lap 42. And where will the uh, where will what will happen with the order? We'll have to come out and sit, we'll have to wait and see. And of course, they come across the line then to finish off lap 41. Uh, Equas takes the lead. Then Coop P2. Gorda coming out on the soft compound tyres ahead of Farf in P3. Then Farf P4. Jay Hings P5. No, he's not P5 because R2B carries on then on the medium compound. He's up into P5 as the other hash driver. Then Jay Hings P6. Then Vintage P7. Martin P8. Then Hungry Styles coming out in P9 I think Sickers Muck is in the pit lane so yes he is then Marvsky is going to soldier on though Marvsky carrying on then can he get himself ahead of Vintage where is Vintage he's far out of the pit lane and away and ahead um, so Hungry Styles then out of the pit in P10 Sickers Muck then on the softs in P11 then Sirius Russian as well on fresh set of softs in P12 uh, like I said the good thing for uh, Kaz and for uh, New Zealand Cam is that they can catch up to the safety car queue now as the safety car will wait for them to catch up to the back of the crocodile Gordo has said I didn't need that. Um, Gordo said I didn't need that. Says <laughs> the safety car. That is. Uh, he is in P3 as it stands. He is uh, on the soft gold pan tyre. I think they'll get to the end of the Grand Prix from here. 16, 17, or a 15 or 16 lap to the end after the safety car gets himself uh, back in the pit lane. Uh, so um, yeah, I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, so there we go then Kaz Soldier is on a 7 lap old hard compound tyres Equaz is on 7 lap old mediums and Coop is on 10 lap old mediums spicy to say the least at the end of the day, you say. Uh, because I think those soft runners then will be very keen to get past as quickly as possible then Right, my nose is running, me out, my ears are itching, my eyes are itching, everything's itching, so we need to get the race done and dusted. And so hopefully we have a quick sprint to the finish then. 16 laps remain. No, we don't. Uh, yeah, 16 laps remain and at the end of this one then. I think we'll be a bit later delayed then with the um, with Alpha Tower of Media Cannon back in the race then after 15 laps then under AI. 
with his internet conking out. Uh, but uh, he is now back in the car and back in the Grand Prix with this safety car as well, then, which is, um, I think, to be fair, the gods are favouring him. And uh, they have said, they have spoken and they have said fair play for New Zealand Canada getting himself back in the race then after 15 laps and losing out uh, hand over fist then with the AI driving around his car. Uh, he has got himself back in the race then. That safety car has come out and helped him then get himself into the fight then for potentially some points per position. So that is uh, good to see. And uh, fair play to New Zealand Can then for uh, soldiering on then. But uh, yeah, we've got uh, what we've we got. We've got 14 drivers back in the race. Then we did have 13 at one point, but uh, now with New Zealand Cam getting himself back in, we've got 14 again. Uh, we have gone past uh, Gordo's done the match, I think. Then um, Gordo has uh, Gordo's done the match. Then uh, we've, uh, we've, well, we've gone past the three-quarter mark now, and we've still got 14 drivers, which is great stuff indeed. Uh, but uh, we'll back to the question. Then we've got uh, New Zealand Cam back in the pit. Then, so I'm not quite sure if he's uh, realised that the safety car might come on home anyway this time. Onto a set of soft compound tyres once again then for New Zealand County to the end of the Grand Prix. I think we're going to have 15 laps remaining at the end of, well, if we are restarting at the end of this lap, that is, as um, we cruise around then onto lap 43. So, uh, yeah, we, I think the soft will get to the end from, of the Grand Prix from here. Those fresh softs, that is. Maybe Marvskin will struggle towards the end, and I think we might see Equaz Coop. Uh, and R2B struggle well potentially can or Kaz should be fine to get to the end of the Grand Prix on those hard compound tyres. Um I think it's, uh, it didn't help him either then I think he's pulled the corner out the safety car then on, on this uh well, lap 41 or 42 that came out. Uh, so there we are. Um, tires are used to the border then they should be fine then they're only um he's using the campus of a penalty under the uh, safety car that's bad news for him especially if he's in this fight and the safety car is coming in this lap then so that is bad news as well then for New Zealand Can then he needs to uh, soldier on then quickly enough then on this lap uh, to get himself back into the fight then for the uh, points penalty again it's a very uh, well the safety car is again it's not a really good restart then for the uh, safety car leader as he is uh, going very slowly once again then that's good help uh, New Zealand Can trying to catch up with the fight potentially as well then and he'll take a very leisurely restart uh, once again, Cooper over the back of the Alfa Romeo, then of Equaz Accorda on the soft compound tyres. He said they're on used, he's used soft compound tyres, but they're only one lap old. I think they're just a quali one run of qualifying, uh, so they shouldn't be too bad then. In the background, we've got more action as well. I think, I think we've got, uh, well, was Marsky then and Martin there uh, flying through then turns one and two, uh, but uh, so far so good then. Hungry Style trying to make a move then on the Ferraris. We've got Gordo and Favre then battling away then through turn three. Gordo is uh, being uh, nudged out wide then by Favre. Uh, not nudged off the circuit this time though which is um, quite convenient uh, for Farf that is but of course the penalty situation for Farf is not in his favour then they'll be added on to his race time so Gorda doesn't really need to overtake him actually at this stage um, he can just sit behind Farf picks up another penalty there just uh, adding to his uh, adding to his woes and uh, unfortunately that is I think 12 seconds penalty for Farf uh, Marvsky has got himself past Vintage now up into P7 then those older uh, soft compound tyres still working alright on those on that Williams car then Vintage now under pressure from his teammate as we go through the chicane then into lap 44 um, Versio said coming back to win this race then as uh, he is uh, unfortunately he is 7 seconds off the pack then that safety car coming in at the wrong time for Cam then he could potentially get himself a fastest lap point then Coop and uh, Coop and Faf battling away then into sector three and then Cooper of course is on the older medium compound tyres 12 lap old mediums now as it stands then far from uh, not far from Martin, Martin and Sirius Mushroom switching places then a bit of team orders down at Ferrari then getting the order sorted down there uh, Favre now all over the back of a coupe and uh, of course far from the soft compound tyres they are 10 lap younger than the uh, than the Williams then Williams medium compound tyres that is as we go through turn one now switching back then into turn two then trying to go around the outside this time he's got the position I think there's no DRS just yet then he's in the cam sets the fastest lap of the race then he's done a great job then uh, getting himself back in the race then he's only five seconds off the pack to be fair he's actually caught up then even after the restart so he is doing a great job then potentially still uh, uh, well, I'll risk it then but he's potentially still then on the cards for some points then which would be amazing um, so good stuff indeed Far then up into P2 now onto the back of Equaz then this is, could get feisty indeed then for the race lead as uh, Gordon trying to get himself through as well then on Coop uh, they've got to start getting themselves past then those soft runners and of course those, uh, those soft runners then especially if Far gets himself through can he clear the gap then he's got to clear 12 seconds though to uh, those who, without penalties that is uh, so that might be a bit uh, difficult indeed we'll have to wait and see uh, Far now all over the back of the Alfa Romeo then let's see if he makes a move then into sector 3 uh, can he make a move then that is the question then because Equaz then holds Holding the line, then he is holding the line, then he's holding the position, then stays in the race lead, then for the time being. Jay Hings and R2 beat, then switching places, then as Jay Hings gone down the inside there, up into P5 on the soft compound tyres, R2 beat on the medium compound tyres, holding on then, oh, R2 beat, I think that was a very late move indeed, then that's going to be costly indeed, he's lost a lot of time then as well. 
going through the penultimate corner then to Marvsky. Marvsky, of course, is going to be on the older soft compound tyres in a few laps or so as well. Then that might start, he might start to struggle as well. Then we'll have to wait and see. Potentially, R2 Beat is already struggling on those medium compound tyres. Gordon then trying to get himself past Coop. Then he's uh, one second behind the top two now. This is when Gordon needs to get, get a move on now and get himself past the Williams as quickly as possible. Then into turn three we go. Then down the inside goes Gordon up into the podium places now as well then as he's asked what I had for key in the comment section I think that was under safety car yellow flag for Styles. yellow flag for Styles. he's off the circuit then at turn three where is he yes he is he's got himself back on the way uh, he has got himself back on the way Hungry Styles got himself uh, that's a bit of a hard three second whatever that is uh, but he's got himself back on the way nonetheless uh, can he get himself back to the pit lane then 46 of 58 completely then hopefully Styles can get himself back to the pit lane without uh, causing any more VSCs or safety cars I think we've actually had all of them now so uh, never mind they're out of the way uh, Equaz then into P2 but he's chasing down uh, far off once again then uh, Marvsky and uh, Vintage switching places then Vintage up into P uh, P7 I should say then past the Williams car as we go down towards sector 3 for the 46th time then uh, Gorda then all over the back now of Equaz. Equaz is uh, still holding on to far for the time being. And Gorda now is trying to get himself into the range then of the top two as well. Then Coop trying to hold on on those medium compound tyres, but now under pressure from Jay Hings, who is doing a fine job out there as well. What did I have for tea? I haven't had my tea, to be fair. So I will hopefully have some tea after this race. Uh, that is the plan anyway. Jay Hings then holding station behind Coop. Then Coop did get some TRS there down the uh, main straight. Uh, which is promising stuff indeed then to uh, at least hold on to the reason then from Jay Hings on to lap 47 though but Jay Hings is really flying through then can he make a move then into turn 3 he's all over the back then on those soft compound tyres those uh, mediums are, are dead now for Coop Hungry Styles gets a 5 second over speeding in the pit lane unfortunately for Styles then his race then for the points then it is out of his hands they potentially can go for the fastest lap point on the uh, soft compound tyres though uh, so we can uh, still see some points then for the Red Bull team or for himself in the Red Bull team that is because Vintage is currently still in the points as it stands for the other Red Bull team uh, Red Bull driver I should say Jay Hings now all over the back of Coop then can he line up a move this time down for Lewis Payne yes he can he's going for it he's going for it he's got the position he's up into P4 can he hold on to the position is the question he has got himself up into P4 then very nicely indeed and now ahead of the Williams car then Coop almost losing the car through the exit of the chicane as uh, ERS like flashing away then for Jay Hings then Coop and uh, up in front of the top three stay status quo on to lap 47 so yeah that was what I had to keep nothing just yet then so we'll have to wait and see what I've got in the fridge uh, but uh, there we go get Gordo then is uh, that's uh, your update for mid race update for Gordo uh, but there we are then 47 uh, we've got some pit stop activity coming on for Coop then Coop coming in the pit lane as so unfortunately Coop then not quite sure this is unplanned or if there's a wind change needed for the Williams car but he's into the box then uh, for a set of soft compound tires I'd imagine then that releases Jay Hings then into P4 uh, currently that penalty was going to cost him but he's got a three second penalty can he get that gap to RTB over three seconds in ten laps I'm sure he could do uh, we'll have to wait and see then here comes Coop out of the pit lane he's down to P13 unfortunately for uh, Coop then he's going to cost himself some big points as Mushroom then oh my goodness me Mushroom is all over the place there as we go through into turns four and five and that could have almost ended badly for Marsky and for Mushroom at the same time then they've lost out to Stickers Muck at this stage and penalties of course with the drivers ahead could be in, in Mushroom's favour of course with no penalties added to his time as it stands but um but blimey, that looked very dangerous indeed then. I think Mushroom they almost lost the car. They're trying to recover it right in front of Marvsky. Uh, Vintage has got himself up into P5, then ahead of R2 beat now. Vintage now on a charge into the uh, top five now as well. Then can he chase down the top four is the question. Uh, we'll see what he can do. Uh, but uh, so far, he has done a good job then in this race. Again, penalties permitting, that is, because there's three seconds, I think, to add on to his time as well. Then three, that, yeah, three for Vintage. 12 for Farf, so he will definitely not be on the podium, I think. Uh, but um, where will he be in relation to the rest of the field? I think that is going to be the next question. Jay Hings has actually caught up to the top three. Uh, so that is fantastic stuff indeed. Jay Hings is my driver of the day, to be fair. He's done a fantastic job indeed. I don't think he'll get driver of the day because he's not a, he's not a full-time driver in this uh, in the Alvatari, but he's done a fantastic job nonetheless then in the Alvatari. And he's, he's been given the hardest challenge of the, of the lot and he's put on a fantastic performance in the 49 laps that we've had so far. Oh, Gordo almost unsettled by the Alfa Romero head there. That could be very costly indeed. Can he get himself past Equaz just about, just about. He's dropped out, I think, of that one second window now then to the uh, to the race leader of Farf. Uh, but of course, 12 seconds for Farf then to be added onto his race time. So I don't think he's going to have to be uh, too worried about dropping out of one second just, just yet anyway. He might be worried now because Gordo is on the charge and here he comes then 
up into P2, then he's on the attack, then he's up into P2, he's got himself through easily, then breezing through with the DRS, then into the chicane we go, as uh, Gordon now takes back P2, then into DRS range then of the race leader of Farf as well then, uh, which is promising stuff indeed for Gordon, then of course he wants to get that race win uh, to extend his championship lead then over Lucas Percy, Vessia and Equaz uh, of course Equaz is his title rival as well then, as uh, R2 beaten sick as Muck then battling away then into the sector 3, into the sector 3 start line I should say, uh, start off sector 3 R2 beat holds on to P6 for the time being then, uh, but, but uh, they've now got a serious brush with the company as well then as we go through into lap 50 I think we're going to lap 50 now, yes we do uh, as we start off lap 50 then so there is uh, not, well, nine laps remaining here in this Grand Prix uh, Gordon now into the range of Farf then trying to get himself through then catching up to the uh, Hash driver then as it stands then R2 beat trying to hold on to the uh, to the vintage uh, of the Red Bull car that is, the vintage in the Red Bull car as we fly down towards uh, turn three once again the Coop got himself past Kaz now Coop is on the charge for that uh, for some points here I think can he get himself in the range of those ahead? Let's have a look and see. Is the question? Uh, so we've got uh, R2 beat them backing away. Then he's uh, now out of DRS range then of uh, of vintage. And he's lost out then on his uh, medium compound tyres. And he's uh, starting to struggle, I think, on those medium compound tyres as well then. Here comes Sickers Muck then with some DRS. Then he's done deep DRS. Then he's already side by side as we go on to the uh, back straight then. Sickers Muck has got himself past JCJ. He's got himself, got himself past, uh, sorry, Farf. Oh my goodness me, Gordo. And there's contact with Farf as well then. Farf in the wall then. And uh, Farf then has uh, out of this race. It's another safety car. It's all sorts of action. I thought you had all the safety cars done, does it now? But New Zealand Cam now definitely in the fight for a point, uh, for a point playing points per position. Now he is in the points already there. So there we go. Good stuff indeed. Uh, but um, I thought we had all the safety cars done. There, there we are. Uh, so um, yeah, as uh, Gordo staying out there, that is interesting stuff indeed. Jay Higgins into the box then, but Jay Higgins calling it then. Ekpai's also in the pit. I think that's going to be helpful for Ekpai. Then Finch carries on as uh, sorry pits as well. Sick as muck, I think is staying out. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Uh, yes, the people staying out. There's all sorts of things going on there. Jay Hing's coming up down the field. Then where is he going to come out in relation to what's happened? Yeah, he's teleported. Never mind. Uh, so he's all good. R2B carries on. <laughs> uh, I want to go to bed at some point. <laughs> so uh, there we are. Uh, so at least the caller can now respond to my uh, what I had for team question. Uh, there we are. Then Cooper then carries on. He's up into P7. Then he's just ahead of Vintage now, out of the pit lane. Then uh, Sirius wrapping into P9. Kaz calls. Harris carries on then on hard compound tyres. He is going to be uh, passed uh, very easily, I think, then by uh, Marvsky using the cam and potentially even Hungry Style then if he catches up to the safety car queue. Uh, but um, there we go then. Farf out of the race and he looked like he was on for some points at least. Uh, but uh, that contact into the back of Gordo then at the exit of the chicane has uh, cost him his place in the Grand Prix. Uh, so unfortunate stuff indeed. Thing. Uh, our two people carried on 15 lap old mediums. I'm not quite sure that's the best play. Uh, Martin is also on nine lap old soft. I think I think you can get to the end of the Grand Prix. Same for Gordo and Sick as Muck. Um, but everybody else apart from Kaz then down in P10 is on fresh fresh soft compound tyres. So they will be absolutely flying. He's kind of the penalty as well. As I say, that is um, where is it? He's gone through the chicane. Um, so that is interesting. Uh, but uh, there we go. Then I think Kaz is going to be um, under a bit of pressure then as we got uh, as we got uh, what's going on here. What was going on with Kaz? He's just, uh, I think he's just going to cost Marvsky a point, a, a, a penalty as well. Then. So, um, yeah, well, I'm mean, not sure what's going on here, but um, all Kaz needs to do is get himself back to the pit then if he wants to get himself out of the way. Uh, but uh, there we are then. As Hungry Style then, is, uh, wait, we're waiting for Hungry Style to catch up and save the car queue then. And we can get ourselves restarted then, but uh, here we go then. Unfortunately for Farf, he just uh, said it confirmed in the comments section it was the first DNF of the season, and so uh, that's pretty good to be fair in uh, silver and uh, and in 100%. Uh, that is going to be a total of um, do maths is not much longer. 32 races this season. If you're doing all all races, that is in silver and in uh, 100%. That is as well. Um, so yeah, out of uh, out of 32, one DNF is uh, not so bad then. But of course, we haven't got to the end of the season just yet. Uh, so there we go. Uh, Kaz coming out of the pit lane now. He's behind Hungry Styles. Then Styles is uh, back in this race potentially now with the uh, situation that he's in, uh, with the uh, penalty situation though is uh, not in his favour. He's got 17 seconds of penalties. I didn't even see that adding up there for Styles, but unfortunately that is the case. 
Um, so, um, yeah, what a shame there. Uh, but then Gordo is uh, leading the Grand Prix, then he will be the restarter of the facto safety car. Uh, when the safety car comes in, I think it might be the end of this lap then. For Gordo, I think he wants the safety car to stay out then, but uh, we'll have to wait and see then. Uh, when it does come in then, it might decide just to uh, call it a day finally and uh, come back in. I think this is our final safety car as well. Uh, so once we've uh, done this one, we can't have any more. Uh, but we've only got, um, we, we will only have six laps to go then at the end of this one as we finish off the Australian Grand Prix. Uh, like I was saying, in the very first 100% league two seasons ago, we only had 12 finishes. Uh, will that be the case today? We've only got 13 at the moment. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Gorda then is, a, oh, sorry, safety car coming back in the pit lane then. So Gorda then takes us back away then, well, will take us back away then for the restart of this race then with only six laps remaining as we cross the start finish line to begin lap 53 of 58. Uh, first in FL season for Farf then hopefully Farf can do the driver of the day poll now as uh, we can uh, have a look and see who's going to be a candidate for driver of the day as well then uh, as we start off the uh, restart the great Gordo has gone very early and this is exactly what I was saying in the comments section earlier he has caught everybody out a great restart then from Gordo then he has absolutely blitzed the field by over a second already as we start ourselves off on lap 53 and um yeah, that just well, that sums it up for me. Then that is what I do on what I want to do on a restart, and he has got himself a uh, brilliant restart then as well. Then uh, 14 places for Gordon. Then of course he had a difficult qualifying, but now he is in the title charge. He is in the championship lead then, and he is in the fight for a, a win here in Oz as well. Then Hings, Jay Hings and Martin switching places. Then of course Jay Hings is on fresher tires up into P4 then as well. Then R2B is his next target as well. Then uh, Sick as Muck as well is oh, actually I think Jay Hings could be on for a fight for a, a P2 here as well. To potentially we'll come up and wait and see sorry my nose is starting to run uh, but I want to get to the end of this Grand Prix because this is going to be pretty epic I think uh, this is your uh, this is your position changes so far then Gordo up 14 uh, 7 for Sickers and up 7 for R2B but Jay Hings now is it going to be up 3 very soon I think Equaz they're up into where is he he's up he's up into P5 he stayed P5 he started P5 uh, Martin is up 5 places as well then Sickers Muck picks up a penalty. That is bad news for Sickers Muck. Then Sirius Buckman and Vintage switching places then into the chicane. Then down to P8. Uh, that's right, down to P9 for Vintage. Martin and Coop then switching places. Then Jay Hings and R2B then have switched places as well. Then Alfa Romeo of Equaz has gone through then on R2B. R2B starting to struggle on his medium compound tyres, I think, as uh, they're not the uh, best tyre to be on at this stage of the race, I don't believe. Uh, maybe he should have come in the pit lane. Then Vintage is dropping down the order. He's dropped down behind Sirius Mushroom as well. Now I'm not sure, not sure what's gone there. Uh, New Zealand Cab and uh, Marvsky have gone through. New Zealand Cam into P8. Fantastic from New Zealand Cam. Uh, great stuff indeed. And uh, credit to him as well then. New Zealand Cam sets the fastest up of the race. Great stuff indeed as well. As a serious battle with Marsky carry on the battle. There's uh, battles all over the field as Cooper's been spun then by R2 beat then R2 beat and the Williams of Coop then have gone to come together then at the exit of turn two. And I think that's going to cost them both a points pair position in this race then. Unfortunately for both drivers out of this, uh, well not out of the race then, but of course, um, out of the top 10 then as it stands then Cavs can be almost on the range of the top 10 and Styles carries on it he's into the top 10 as well now so if Styles can keep it together he can get himself a point then as well uh, but uh, R2B and uh, Coop then coming together at the exit of turn two not sure what happened then Gordo R2B Martin and Mushroom are your candidates for driver of the day uh, but uh, I think R2B unfortunately is a, is a, a fallen foul to those old medium compound tyres then and is costly uh, I don't think he's going to be uh, <laughs> in the candidacy for driver of the day anymore uh, but uh, there we go the New Zealand cam up into P5 then he is flying through then uh, Kaz and Styles switching places then these two are fighting for the final points pen position here comes Styles he's back on the attack then and back through for P10 then Jay Hings has got himself past Equ then up into P3 then and now on the on the back so I can say of sick as muck then Gordo with that fantastic restart uh, oh dear there's contact between the uh, Alpha Terry and the Alpha and the Aston Martin and now the Alpha Romeo is going to sneak through as well then is he yes he into P3 DRS enabled on lap 55 blimey so uh, there we go then at uh, this stage of the race then we have got Gordo leading the way then comfortably in the Grand Prix lead and after that safety car restart gave him the one second gap straight away then he's held on to it brilliantly he has got a 1.7 second gap now to sick as muck and uh, he is uh, just cruising out in the distance I think at this stage uh, Equaz now into P3 then he is uh, all over the back then of the of the, of the Aston Martin I should say then on older soft compact tyres he's uh, almost uh, 10 laps younger tyres as, as Coop has retired in the pit lane and left the session and that is Coop out of the Grand Prix then on the uh, last couple of laps then couldn't be bothered to go the fastest lap so there we go uh, Equaz then is coming for the attack then for P2 he is up into P2 then and he's through into P2 
And uh, Sirius Martin comes up past his teammate as well now. Into the chicane. There's going to be contact. I thought there was going to be contact. It was so close indeed. Then Marvsky trying to wait in the wings. Then Jay Hings has got himself past Sick as Muck as well. Then into sector three. Up into the podium places. Now Kaz picks up a penalty. Then he's been, he's got himself. He's, no, he's off the circuit. Then R2 beat back up into P11 now. And trying to chase down that final points pen position as well for uh, for P10. Then can he hold on is the question. They're going to go side by side. There's contact between the two of them. R2 beat off the circuit there as well. Then he's being pushed wide. Then here comes Kaz around the outside. There's battle is now not for the top 10 or not for the points per position as it stands but uh, it is the battle we're looking at because it's been absolutely epic so far in these last few laps uh, back up the order then vintage vintage has got, got himself past Marvsky and past Martin as well then up into where is he no where's he gone he's off the circuit then Vintage off the circuit and down to P9. Then, unfortunately, Vintage, I thought he got himself past both of them there, but he went out uh, too late on breaks and Vintage and cost himself two places. R2 beat up, picked up a penalty. Unfortunately, that is going to be very costly indeed. Then there is a lot of penalties of drivers ahead of him, though. So, potentially, he could still get himself in the top 10 at the end of this Grand Prix. Out in front now, Equaz is on the charge. Equaz then is trying to chase, chase down the championship leader of Gordo. Then lap 56, then there's no ERS to play with then for Gordo as we go in towards the chicane. And here comes Equaz then with DRS then up into P1. He takes the race lead up into P1 then for the Alfa Romeo driver. Great stuff indeed. Then looking strong here now on those fresh soft compound tyres. Jay Hings could be on for the fight as well for another podium place. New Zealand can then up into he's going to be up into P4 is he going to go down the inside then of the Aston Martin then he is up the up into P4 then up in, up the inside and up into P4 at the same time and uh, he is on the charge potentially as well if he gets a podium uh, he's got six second penalties to be fair but uh, if he gets a podium then I will take my hat off to New Zealand can then after spending almost 20 laps then out of this race then with his internet issue uh, but he's got himself back in the fight then as well um, epic stuff indeed then so far it's been uh, fantastic to watch then we'll have a look at the position changes as well then for the driver of the day vote uh, th uh, four for Equaz then 13 for Gordo as it stands that is of course then here comes uh, Jay Hings then on the attack then into turn three not quite then for Gordo he uh, sort of not quite for Jay Hings sorry I should say he stays behind his mid has left the session again then no his internet oh no his internet's given up then on the penultimate lap and uh, he I've just said it, I've cursed him he's just saying he's done a great job then as New Zealand can but I've cursed him now because sick as much is going to get that place back as well serious rushing up into P5 as well um, I'm very sorry New Zealand fan, uh, but you were doing a fantastic job then and unfortunately you are out well out of the race then but technically not out of the point uh, we will have to wait and see uh, what's going to happen there as Jay Hings has got himself past Gordo has he yes he has then up into P2 now for Jay Hings and he's flying out there uh, trying to chase down Equaz now for the race lead as well then on track that is because of course there's penalties then for the Alcantara driver Martin is retired then Martin's out of the race then where has Martin gone then and uh, that is not going to be a safety car it's a chicane then and Martin has cost himself any points in this race then I think Everyone can get points then if they can overtake New Zealand Cam's ghost car. Uh, so that is the situation then. So, uh, oh my God, uh, 10, 10 position, 10 places left in this race. Everyone's going to get points because I don't think New Zealand Cam is going to be classified unless he can get himself back in the car, that is. Uh, but uh, this is the final lap then of the Grand Prix. Uh, 58 laps then have been completed then. Uh, um, yeah, my God. Uh, so uh, this is really interesting stuff indeed, isn't it? R2 beat back in the points pen position now. As sick as much and uh, mushroom battling away then serious mushroom then up into P4 now. 16 places gained from that point. Um bring it home, Gordo says Rocky you know, special mention to burn to uh, yeah, for the so many races in the uh, no says can no, no from justified though so can who is out of the race uh, he will not be classified if he does not get himself back in the car then on this lap. Uh, so that is that then uh, Martin as well out of the race then after looking like he was on for some points then I'm not quite sure where he, well, he went off at the uh, off the edge yeah, the chicane he went off the edge to the chicane somehow so um, yeah a bit of an odd on that uh, Vintage is now uh, on the attack then on uh, for New Zealand Camber into the uh, for the race lead we're into sector three now let's have a look and see what these two are going to be up to as we go through the final couple of quarters then to finish off the 58th lap then of 58 then into the final turn then we go then Equaz then is leading the way then here comes Jay Higgs but I think it's not enough then Equaz takes the win here in Australia for Alfa Romero a great race win then indeed for the championship contender then he's got himself a greater result indeed there as well Hungry Styles has left the session as well so um, that's that then Gordo in P2 
uh, has claimed another podium then for himself and the McLaren team. Great stuff indeed. The Hungry Styles then I don't think will be classified either in this Grand Prix as uh, he is not in the race either. So that I think is only nine finishes at the end of this one. Uh, so there we go then. Three players have been added to the group already. Then that is your podium drivers for the interviews as well then. But a fantastic race then. Jay Higgins with a podium in the Alpha Tower then. I think uh, fair play to Jay Higgins. You are absolutely smashed. You've absolutely smashed it tonight uh, because um, with all that was going on to be fair as well. Uh, fair play to Jay Higgins in, in the Alpha Tower and then the car he definitely should not be... Uh, in, in, but he's done a, a brilliant performance on a podium then in the Alpha Tower. Uh, credit to uh, Jay Hings there as well. There is your podium sitters then. There's Equaz on the top step in the Alpha Rare, then the race winner here in Australia, then Gordo in the McLaren P2, and Jay Hings in the Alpha Tower P3. Uh, great stuff indeed then. That was an absolutely fantastic race. And I'm, I'm glad it's finished so I can go and have a shower and go to bed. Uh, but um, but uh, what a race indeed then. Uh, get your votes in then for the last few last few votes from the driver of the day. Uh, has it finished? I'm not quite sure. I think it's finished. I'm not quite sure. There we go then. That is your classification then for the uh, for the Australia, Australian Grand Prix. Uh, from P5 to P1, then Equaz, then Gordo P2, Jay Hings P3, Sirius Russian P4, Sickers Muck P5, Vintage in P6, then Marvsky P7, New Zealand Cam will not be classified and will not get the fastest lap point as well. R2B P8, then Kaz in P9, uh, Hungry Styles was not in the race either. So that is your top t top 10, is effectively your top 9. Um, New Zealand Cam and Hungry Styles not classified in the race as they did not. Uh, State, they went in their cars when they crossed the line. Martin, Coop, Farf, Vestia, Rocket Lisa, Jinder, Kiki, Kamaro, and Moomin all retired from the race. So uh, that is that. Then <laughs> there we go. Uh, pretty easy for me to do the graphics then tonight. So that's good stuff indeed. Everyone DNF apart from nine of them. Uh, so uh, we will crack on then with the interviews very quickly indeed as well. Uh, but uh, fair play then to the um, to the drivers who got to the uh, got to the finish line. Uh, we will get the uh, interviews underway very shortly indeed. And I think we've got some in the uh, in the gantry already. Then, um, Jay Hings, are you with us? Great stuff. We can't hear him. Well, I can't hear him. I, well, I don't know if he can hear me. Never mind then. Uh, I'm here. One sec. Jay Hings, are you with us? <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you. Good stuff indeed. Um, I was saying that in the in the well in the second half of that race, to be fair. But uh, a podium in the Alpha Tauri, did you expect that when you started off in that race? Uh, no. At first, I thought I was going to be in the Alpha Romeo, and then it kind of got swapped around a bit a bit last minute. So I was in the Alpha Tauri. And obviously from there, you just, you, your practice doesn't go in the window, but it's slightly different. You have to kind of slightly adjust to it. So I think in qualifying, I had a bit of a struggle with uh, that kind of... A little adjustment, just like kind of small down in the car. And then at the start of the race, I had it. But once I kind of got back in the flow of things and understood what I was doing, I, was, I had really good race pace. Yeah, yeah, it was a good race. I won by at the end of it. Uh, good race in the end then from yourself. Then the podium uh, for yourself and the Alpha, well, the Alpha Tari team for sure. Um, so, yeah, do you reckon you can, uh, you'll can you jump back in the Alpha Tari in the future? Yeah, I, I do enjoy these 100% league uh, races, uh, a lot of a lot more strategy I think in these ones, uh, especially today with like what was it about five safety cars, thinking when to box and then when you box, you you kind of hoping everyone behind you also boxes so you haven't got to go through all the traffic, but at the same time, if you box, you don't see people bo behind you boxing. You think, oh god, have I made the wrong call? But I think today I made all the right calls with strategy. No, it was uh, good stuff indeed, and everything seemed to go pretty well for yourself as well. Great stuff indeed for Jay Hings then P3 in the Alpha Tauri tonight then. Uh, we have, I think we've got Gordo, because Gordo doesn't usually join us. Uh, we haven't got anybody else, to be fair, that's it. So there we go, Jay Hings then. Great stuff indeed, we can have more of a chat then. Huh? So uh, what are you doing this weekend, <laughs> Jay Hings then? Are you watching the Australian Grand Prix? <laughs> yeah, getting up nice and early to watch that. If yeah, it's a chaotic as that, maybe we can get a, if it's chaotic as that, maybe we can get a different race winner. Well, like I said, in the, in the first 100% league two seasons ago, we only had 12 finishes. And then in the race, there was 12 finishes in the actual F1 as well. Uh, that's where Knock-On and Gasly had their crash and everything was going all sorts of all sorts of shapes and sizes and whatnot. But yeah, so it was quite realistic, the 100% league. So if we have that again on Sunday night, Sunday morning, then uh, yeah, fair play. Uh, so uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens then. But uh, thanks very much for everybody who's joined us. Then we'll be back in action then at Australia then for gold on Sunday and for silver on Monday and for bronze on Tuesday. And of course, 100% will be uh, on the uh, 
on a return as well. Then I think we're in Japan for the next Grand Prix as well, which we'll be previewing that. So stay tuned. There's plenty more action coming up to ALR, and we'll see you very soon. <laughs>